We welcome you inside the Dragon's Den, the Columbus Civic Center here in Columbus, Georgia, for the second game of a back-to-back -back as the Carolina Thunderbirds look to redeem themselves after a disappointing 3-1 loss at the hands of the River Dragons just 24 hours ago. Hello, everybody. My name is Dylan Clark. So happy you could be with us. Uh, it is interesting to say and almost difficult to say but this is an early season must win situation for the Carolina Thunderbirds for a number of reasons first and foremost uh, they have slipped out of their uh, nice and comfortable spot atop the uh, FPHL's West Division standings dethroned by the River Dragons with that loss last night and the Thunderbirds now find themselves in the midst of a three game losing streak uh, we'll get into how that correlates uh, with history and last season's start here in a little bit. Thunderbirds needing to dig deep. A handful of uh, injuries and bodies again, as always, in and out of the lineup. A steep hill for the Thunderbirds to climb here on a Saturday night in Georgia. And the Columbus River Dragons really take all of the momentum into this hockey game with them. We'll send you to a quick break, and when we come back, we got a chance to speak with head coach of the Thunderbirds, Garrett Rutledge, today about uh, just this game's importance in, uh, in building a strong foundation. All that and more when we come back with more Thunderbirds hockey. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference. Family owned since 1933. The Carolina Thunderbirds have a set of two custom wine labels that can be yours to take home today. The Thunderbirds Red and Carolina White are special edition, first run custom wine labels for Carolina Thunderbirds fans. Bottles are $40 individually and $75 when bought as a set. Call the Thunderbirds office to get yours today. 336-774-4625. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist helps you do more of the things you love. More laughs, more adventures, more hugs. We combine the brightest minds in medicine to bring you world-class care with a commitment to strengthen the health and wellness of our community. Because when it comes to the health of you and your family, no one should settle for anything short of life-changing. Welcome back inside the Columbus Civic Center. Just about 20, 25 minutes away from puck drop here between Carolina and Columbus. Second leg of a back-to-back, -back, which actually will precede three more games between these two teams. We had a chance to speak with head coach of the Thunderbirds, Garrett Rutledge. His team is sliding. They've lost three consecutive games. Uh, we just got to talk to Coach Rutledge about the importance of tonight's game and some of the things that need to be adjusted for the Thunderbirds to walk out of here with three points. Welcome back to Thunderbirds TV. Dylan Clark alongside head coach of the Thunderbirds, Garrett Rutledge. And coach, again, another disappointing start to the weekend. Uh, but when you went back and looked at the film, um, what was one of the positives you were able to pull out of it looking back? No, I thought uh, I thought we, we got an unfortunate bounce. The first goal there hit the glass and came out and I think hit a stick. I don't even still know how it really went in the net, but 
other than that, we had a good chances. Um, like I said, the guys battled the whole night. A um, couple breaks our way, I think uh, we'd be right there. Or we'd probably win that hockey game. Um, Modica gave us a great chance to uh, win a hockey game. And like I said, it was pretty tight checking the whole game. Uh, I think it was 1-1, then 2-1, I guess. So we had a couple breakaways we missed on, hit a goal post, and just a few opportunities. So you can just uh, – right now we're just not getting the breaks, but it'll uh, eventually come here. You guys had a couple of uh, good opportunities on the power play in that second period. Was that kind of a bright spot for you? Because it seemed like the puck movement really, really increased uh, in quality there on those two opportunities. Yeah, it's great to see that. Like, eventually the power play is going to pop off here. So they just got to keep working at it, moving the puck. Uh, made a few adjustments on that. So hopefully uh, it pans out well for us tonight on the PP. Some of the new players you brought in, Gus Ford, Von Clausen, really seeming to uh, to fit in so far. Clausen with his first Thunderbirds goal. What can you say about the way those guys have started to fit into the lineup? Oh, they've been great. Just their experience that they've been the Southern Pro, and now they're here, and just their leadership altogether. Um, having Vaughn on the back end, he's a big presence back there to uh, take the bull by the horns per se, and uh, just lead our decor. And then um, having Forty in the lineup is great. He's uh, there to make plays, and he commands the puck all the time. And he's always special when he does have it on his stick. Talking to a couple of guys uh, after the game, the, the ice conditions were less than ideal. Um, obviously not something that you or anybody out there can control, but uh, what adjustments do you try to make uh, when that's the case? Uh, just like like I said, it's it's the same for both teams really, but just when the ice is bad like that, you want to simplify things and play in support. What I mean by play in support, it's like you stay within like three, four, five feet of each other and having those small plays where you don't got to make long cross, cross ice passes. So you're always staying in support and just layer after layer of Carolina guys supporting each other and uh, making those easy passes, whether it be chip off the boards, picking it up next next guy curling in and for supporting each other. Last thing after a, a long night on the bus, how did it feel to get asleep in, uh, in a regular bed last night? Uh, it felt pretty good, actually. It would have been nice if we would have got a W, I'm not going to lie. Uh, wasn't all that uh, great of a sleep, to be honest with you. So when uh, you're winning, you always sleep a little bit better. So always uh, hockey's on my mind. So just want get, to get at it tonight and get that win. Thanks, Coach. Thanks for the time. Uh, we're going to step aside, and when we come back, we'll break down the scouting report on Carolina and Columbus. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference, family owned since 1933. Conveniently located at the corner of Rinalda Road and Northwest Boulevard, Salem Smiles and Dr. Sarah C. Schoff is the preferred orthodontist of the Carolina Thunderbirds. Dr. Schoff is a Winston-Salem native and a trusted name in orthodontics since 1992. So whether you're on the ice or in the stands, trust your teeth to Dr. Smashmouth and her team at Salem Smiles. Sometimes, we all need a bit of help. Come on. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. Let me give you a little tip. With four instructors ready to get your game to the next level, we're open to the public. Practice on our fully lit driving range and gear up at our pro shop. We're a proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call at 336-884-4653 and visit us in High Point. There you go. That's a bomb. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So, we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app, presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. Atrium Health Wake Forest Bath. Back inside the Columbus Civic Center. Free game here between the Carolina Thunderbirds and the home Columbus River Dragons. Last night's final score, Columbus took down the Thunderbirds by a score of 3-1. to one. They outshot the Thunderbirds 36-25.
it was again another case of an even game uh, that kind of got out of hand and slipped away from the Thunderbirds by time the third period rolled around. Uh, it was all River Dragons and they really flexed their offensive muscles and uh, kind of made quick work of the Thunderbirds not really giving them any opportunities to get back into the hockey game at all. Uh, but looking to tonight, goaltending was a spot of brightness, uh, really an anchor for the River Dragons last night. Jared Rutledge stopping 24 of 25 shots sent his way. Not sure who is going to be starting in the blue paint tonight for Columbus. Rutledge and Bailey McBurney, the two goalers, goal goaltenders out there for warmups right now. Sean Kuhn uh, not on the ice. Um, and on the offensive front of things, Robert Van Weinsberg really driving the bus for Columbus as far as scoring goals. The only player so far this season uh, to net two goals. You'll remember Van Weinsberg's goal last night coming off of uh, an outstanding individual effort, putting home his own rebound in the second period against Nick Modica. Uh, that goal would hold up to be the game-winning goal. Van Weinsberg and company running things offensively there. Jagger Williamson... Uh, another player to keep an eye on for Columbus, playing the role uh, of the agitator, the pest, and, and we don't mean that in a negative or a derogatory way. Um, every team's got one, Every and the teams that don't have one certainly wish that they did. Jagger Williamson playing a, a physical, playing with an edge to his game, not unlike a, a Patrick Hornquist or a Travis Konechny, uh, to put it into um, NHL terms for those of you at home. Also had a scoring touch to him, Jagger Williamson. 173 points for the Vernon Vipers of the BCHL from 2014 to 2019, including 19 points in 21 playoff games in 2019, where the Vipers would lose in the Fred Page Cup final to Prince George. So a handful of players to watch out for there for Columbus. They dominated puck possession. You can thank Josh Petrantonio and company for that. Those are the players to really keep an eye on and the Thunderbirds will have to make sure they keep their eyes on those players and try to contain and limit the effect that they have on the game. One more break, and when we come back, we'll get into the Thunderbirds roster and see who you can look for there when we return with more Thunderbirds hockey. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices big selection and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference. Family owned since 1933. Conveniently located at the corner of Rinalda Road and Northwest Boulevard, Salem Smiles and Dr. Sarah C. Schof is the preferred orthodontist of the Carolina Thunderbirds. Dr. Schof is a Winston-Salem native and a trusted name in orthodontics since 1992. So whether you're on the ice or in the stands, trust your teeth to Dr. Smashmouth and her team at Salem Smiles. Sometimes we all need a bit of help. Come on. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. Yeah, let me give you a little tip. With four instructors ready to get your game to the next level, we're open to the public. Practice on our fully lit driving range and gear up at our pro shop. We're a proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call at 336-884-4653 and visit us in High Point. There you go. That was a bomb. <laughs> the Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app, presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist.
The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference. Family owned since 1933. The Carolina Thunderbirds have a set of two custom wine labels that can be yours to take home today. The Thunderbirds Red and Carolina White are special edition, first run custom wine labels for Carolina Thunderbirds fans. Bottles are $40 individually and $75 when bought as a set. Call the Thunderbirds office to get yours today, 336-774-4625. Back inside the Columbus Civic Center. Just about 10 minutes away from River Dragons Thunderbirds here. A, an early must season, an early season must win for Carolina here as they look to reclaim that top, top spot in the FPHL's West Division. Taking a look at uh, some of the injuries and transactions. No transactions for either team uh, so far. Again, it, it would be um, uncommon to see a uh, transaction or a player signed or moved or something like that uh, in between a weekend game simply because there are so many things to do and, and so many things to keep track of here uh, with all that going on. It would be it would be a bit tough to, uh, to add a player um, in the mix of all of that. So no transactions there. Dylan Farmer was Carolina's latest addition, uh, kind of a depth defenseman. 11 career FPHL games, played nine with the River Dragons in previous seasons. One with the Danville Dashers. Didn't see a ton of Farmer in last night's contest, uh, but with the injuries that we'll get into in a moment, those indicate that we may see a bit more of Farmer as tonight's contest moves along. In that vein, uh, the injuries, some of them stay the same. Some of them have changed a little bit. Cody Oaks did not travel with the Thunderbirds. He is out with an upper body injury. Uh, Cameron Dimmitt, again, returned last night from a lower body injury. Did not make an impact on the score sheet. He remains in the lineup tonight for Carolina, um, and he will wear the number 12 tonight in white. Thunderbirds had to shift around some of the jersey numbers, uh, wearing the white uniforms for the first time tonight. And while we've got a second, we'll just make note of those again. David Nicoletti typically wearing number three. We actually thought he'd be wearing number four last night. Turned out he wore number 19 in white. That's David Nicoletti right there. Cameron Dimmitt again, 12 in white tonight. Von Clouston, a new player wearing 20 in white. Tommy Cardinal dons the number 23. Cully Oaks, uh, who was wearing number 25 last night, is unlikely to play tonight. Nursing a, a lower body injury so far. Um, sustained about halfway through the game last night. Do not expect to see Cully Oaks in this one. Daniel Martin wears number 26 for the evening. Blake Peavy stays with his number 27. And Chris Corgan is a game time decision. Corgan traveled with the Thunderbirds. Um, did not make it into the lineup last night due to an upper body concern, something that the team and Corgan have been monitoring. And uh, if, if, he gives, uh, if he gives himself and uh, the, the team gives him the green light, expect Chris Corgan to slot up perhaps on the left side um, with John Batita and Tommy Cardinal. Again, Corgan will be a, a game time decision. We'll see uh, pretty much as, as soon as the puck is dropped, uh, what the, uh, what the deal will be there with Chris Corgan. Uh, but that rounds out the inter injuries and transactions. Two other games in the FPHL tonight. Watertown in Binghamton. The Black Bears 
took down the Delaware Thunder last night by a score of seven to six. They will host Watertown tonight and the Danbury Hattricks and Port Huron Prowlers go head to head one more time. Danbury came out on top in last night's contest. Again, the Hattricks 3-0-1 to start this season. 11 of a possible 12 points in the standings. Good enough for 91.7% there. So the Danbury Hattricks leading the division and the FPHL as well. Binghamton Black Bears only team with more points. They've played one more game. Black Bears have 12 points, 4-1 and one on the season. We'll keep an eye on those games for you, that East Division action in the FPHL. One more break, and when we come back, our three keys to the game when we're back with more Thunderbirds hockey. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. Family owned and operated since 1938, Mustin and Crutchfield Food Market in Kernersville is the place to find your favorite homemade foods. Sample the finest cuts of meat from our on-site butcher, enjoy a glass bottle of soda like the old days, and go home with a tub of our famous homemade pimento cheese. Come see us at 245 North Main Street in downtown Kernersville. The Carolina Thunderbirds have a set of two custom wine labels that can be yours to take home today. The Thunderbirds Red and Carolina White are special edition, first run custom wine labels for Carolina Thunderbirds fans. Bottles are $40 individually and $75 when bought as a set. Call the Thunderbirds office to get yours today, 336-774-4625. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference, family owned since 1933. Family owned and operated since 1938, Mustin and Crutchfield Food Market in Kernersville is the place to find your favorite homemade foods. Sample the finest cuts of... Back inside the Columbus Civic Center one more time before the Thunderbirds and River Dragons hit the ice here. As we get closer to that, time now for our keys to the game. For Carolina looking to get back on the uh, in the right column here on the score sheet looking for three more points trying to get the split here out of a, a difficult weekend on the road first key to tonight's game identify problems and adapt to them it, it seems self-explanatory well naturally you would identify problems and adapt to them but it, it seemed as though there was some confusion in the thunderbirds having a hard time identifying what specifically the issue was uh, with the river dragons as time wore on uh, things just not connecting, miscommunications, and just, again, general confusion. The Thunderbirds uh, having a tough time finding that identity and that game plan that they want to go to and adhere to um, going forward in this one. Uh, tonight's second key to the game, special teams. We talked about it in the pregame show. We talked about it heavily in last night's contest, and we'll probably talk about it a considerable amount as this one goes on. But special teams, exceedingly important. Tonight, Carolina on the power play this season, four for 20. They had five power play opportunities last night, and the Thunderbirds failed to convert on any of them. Columbus had them go 0 for 5 on the man advantage. The River Dragons, a perfect 14 for 14 on the power play so far this season. Granted, that is just through three games, but still an impressive stat. Uh, the River Dragons still 0 for 13, looking for their first power play goal of the season. Thunderbird penalty kill was able to hold them uh, out of the zone and hold them off the score sheet last night, but 
neither one of those trends can be expected to continue uh, for a long time. At some point, the River Dragons will break through with the power play goal, and at some point, whether it's the Thunderbirds' power play or someone else's, uh, the River Dragons will see Carolina the next three games after this, but after that, they'll go on to uh, play the Watertown Wolves. Regardless of whose power play it is, at some point, it's going to get through the Columbus penalty kill, and head coach Garrett Rutledge and Carolina would like to do everything they can to make sure that is tonight and that is their power play that is the one to break through the Columbus defenses. And tonight's third key to the game may seem a bit unorthodox. Grace under pressure, and no, that is not the 10th studio album by Rush released back in 1984. Well, it is, but that's not why we're bringing it up. Uh, it should be the mantra tonight for the Thunderbirds. Uh, a heavy situation. Sometimes the moment can seem bigger than it is and more challenging, and it certainly is an uphill battle for the Carolina Thunderbirds. But maintaining composure, appreciating the moment for what it is, it's a Saturday night and you get to play hockey. The Thunderbirds keeping those things in mind, keeping themselves calm and focused on the details, focused on the task at hand, and uh, to throw out a cliche, taking things one shift at a time, showing that grace in a stressful and uh, a pressure situation that will be the key for the Thunderbirds tonight in this one. That does it for our keys to the game. Another commercial break. We'll have the national anthem and puck drop here at the Columbus Civic Center between the Carolina Thunderbirds and the Columbus River Dragons. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app, presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the pro shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the Modern difference. Family owned since 1933. The Carolina Thunderbirds have a set of two custom wine labels that can be yours to take home today. The Thunderbirds Red and Carolina White are special edition, first run custom wine labels for Carolina Thunderbirds fans. Bottles are $40 individually and $75 when bought as a set. Call the Thunderbirds office to get yours today, 336-774-4625. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist helps you do more of the things you love. More laughs, more adventures, more hugs. We combine the brightest minds in medicine to bring you world-class care with a commitment to strengthen the health and wellness of our community. Because when it comes to the health of you and your family, no one should settle for anything short of life-changing.
that was Rachel Cochran bringing you our national anthem. A surprise starter down to our left for the Carolina Thunderbirds. Nick Modica back in goal for our Pine Hall Brick starting goaltenders of the game. This is the first time that Garrett Rutledge has gone with uh, the same starter on back-to-back -back nights in this season. Nick Modica playing most recently uh, about a week ago against the Watertown Wolves. And down to our right, Bailey McBurney making the, the start for the Columbus River Dragons after the success of Jared Rutledge in last night's contest. McBurney out of Beverly, Massachusetts, 26-year-old, product of UMass Boston, 73 games played there, NCAA D3, 2.38 goals against average, 9-16 save percentage. And the Thunderbirds and River Dragons just about ready to get rocking and rolling here. John Batita stands in against Robert Van Weinsberg. Puck is down. We are underway here. Thunderbirds moving left to right to start this one. George Holt out with it. Through center looking for Tommy Cardinal. Carolina in their traveling whites. Red and black stripes throughout. The script in state on the front. Columbus in their alternate blacks with the teal striping throughout. A little bit of Heather Gray as well. Thunderbirds in the offensive zone. Loose puck right in front of McBurney. Puck collected and moved off there by Tom Maldonado. Escorted back out, John Batita holds the line. Chip back in, away from Tommy Cardinal. Bouncing there at Daniel Martin. And the Thunderbirds swing now. MJ Graham spinning away nicely there from John Batita. Up the near side, Van Weinsberg shovels this one in on the back end. Nick Modica the save. He'll freeze things there for a face-off. Just about 49 seconds gone here in this opening frame. Seriously. Sincerely expected to see Chris Paul in starting tonight's game. Nick Modica played considerably well last night after a, a bit of a difficult start. Modica, 33 saves on 36 shots after a fluke goal that went in off the leg of David Nicoletti and perhaps the stick of Yuri Peshtuka as well. Modica held the Thunderbirds in it for a long period of time there. Juan Clouston finds Victor Grabenikov. This one chipped back in away from Cameron Dimmitt. Icing waved off as it bounces in the near side corner. Blake Peavy forcing the issue against Justin Schmidt. Dragons come away with this one. Austin Doe. Doe, cross ice feed, bearing down a shot. Stopped by Modica. Rebound loose in front. Modica may have made a second save. Puck moved back out. Austin Doe again, top of the circles. Sent down low, right in front. Doe has a chance on the backhand, sent high and wide. Puck loose in front, swatted out there by Josh Petrantonio. Taken away by Gus Ford. Moved cross ice for Cameron Dimmitt. This one chopped back in. River Dragons going back after it again. Doe sends this one rink wide. Off the stick there of Dylan Farmer. It leaks back out over the blue line. Delayed off sides. And so George Holt back to gather this one for Carolina. 18-12 to go. Opening frame. Collision there. George Holt stepped into a man. This puck settled down on the backhand shot. Kicked out there by Modica. Nice save on Dalton Anderson. Held in. Moved on low. Away from Anderson. Far side, Trevor Finch got his first FPHL goal last night, made it a 3-1 hockey game. Put things to bed here for the River Dragons. Back out across center red. Dragons stride this one in with some speed. Paul Frigeau away from David Nicoletti and Yuri Peshtuka. Peshtuka up the far side boards, taken now by Cameron Dimmitt. That caught Joe Cangelosi up high. Puck rolls in, seven and a half to go. Cangelosi heads for the bench on the line change. Sent back up. That pass intercepted at center by Yuri Peshtuka. He blows a tie and the puck rolls in. John Batita able to just backhand this one in. Seven and a quarter. Here's a turnover right in front. John Batita. Solid collision right there is going down was Paul Frigeau. Puck right in front. Cardinal a shot on the backhand. That one denied by McBurney and company in front. And neutral territory, Batita. Couldn't maintain Thunderbird control as we cross the 17 minute mark. River Dragons advance this one now down the right side. Away from Von Clouston. Shot hit Clouston in the shin guards and it's moved in behind John Batita coming to help out. Van Weinsberg centering feed. It rolls up the high slot and back out to center. Bit of a dangerous opportunity here. Thunderbirds in the middle of a line change. 
River Dragons bring it in. MJ Graham, long point drive. That one sent high and wide by Frigeau. Grabenikov down the near side. He's joined by Gus Ford. Ford with some speed, sidesteps a man. Here comes Ford, little shimmy shake, he scores! Gus Ford, his first goal in a Thunderbirds uniform. 16-22 to go on the first. Carolina strikes first. Thunderbirds waste no time getting on the board in this one. Gus Ford spent some time in the SPHL. Signed with Carolina earlier this week. Back-to-back -back games that one of the Thunderbirds' new players gets Carolina's first goal. Victor Grabenikov getting the lone assist on that one. Thunderbirds pound this one back in. Just about four minutes gone. Here in the opening frame, Saturday night. Here in Columbus, Carolina in the offensive zone. Blake Peavy going to work there in the corner with Cameron Dimmitt. Peavy can't pull that puck off the boards. It's held in, though. Kick back down low. Some fancy footwork there by George Holt. Thunderbirds will get the line change. River Dragons waiting patiently from behind their own goal. Four checking by Tommy Cardinal. Takes the puck away from Dalton Anderson. Almost a dangerous opportunity there, and Daniel Martin races back to the blue line, keeping play alive here for the Thunderbirds. Cardinal battles in behind the goal there with Dalton Anderson. Cardinal's got it again, centering feed. Martin, the high shot. That one caught the shoulder of McBurney. Perhaps a stick in front as well, and it goes up and out of play. Heavy wrist shot there from Daniel Martin, just inside the right wing faceoff circle. Dangerous opportunity, still 1-0 Carolina, 15-17 to go in the first. Offensive zone draw here for John Batita. Batita wins that one forward. Gets sandwiched by a pair of River Dragons, and now it's Daniel Martin up the near side. Reverses back down low. Tommy Cardinal on this one. Now Batita comes to help. Back up top. Far side point. Pestuka's long shot goes wide to the glove hand side of McBurney. Now right back at center. Long shot. Cardinal in and out of the glove of McBurney again. That line. Making the breakout difficult for Columbus. A little bit of roll reversal here from last night. Now on the counterattack, here's a chance. Long shot in the shin guards of Von Clouston. Heavy wrister from Dalton Anderson would not go. Now it's chipped back in. Taken away here by Viktor Grabenikov. Back on the score sheet here. Outlet pass. Wanted Vinny DeAndre. He's got a touch up. That puck in his skates. Would have been a clean break for him. Winston-Salem native drew two penalties last night. 14.26 to go. Opening frame. Puck settled down and chipped down on the backhand by Dylan Farmer. Back as far as center. River Dragons regroup. This one chipped away from Chris Corgan. Corgan in the lineup tonight. He was a late game decision. Puck off the skates of Corgan. Thunderbirds in a bit of a jam here. Coughed up. Van Weinsberg now held in at the line. Dylan Farmer able to just chip this one out for Vinny DeAndre. It rolls past him. River Dragons have a chance off the boards. Three against one. Down the right side. MJ Graham. Backdoor feed. They score. Graham to Van Wines. Now they're waving it off. 13.53 to go. Hang on a second. Confusion. They'll rule that puck hit the goal post. The horn sounded. Everyone in the arena, including myself, thought that puck went in. We'll take a look here. They're going to blow the horn here and call the officials over to the scorer's table. 13.53 to go. So far, we'll keep it at 1-0. While we try to sort this out, we'll keep you on the edge of your seats here. Just about six minutes gone in this one. Carolina for right now with a 1-0 lead over the Columbus River Dragons. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is modern automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference 
family owned since 1933. Conveniently located at the corner of Rinalda Road and Northwest Boulevard, Salem Smiles. We welcome you back Sarah here Seashore as things the preferred orthodontist. appear to have been sorted out. No goal on the play. We stay at 1 0, and we'll work on updating that score graphic for you in a second here. Puck is dropped. Carolina taking things in the defensive zone. Coughed up, sent right back down in. Chance right in front there. Shut down and a counterattack coming now for the Thunderbirds. Gus Ford, the lone goal scorer so far. Cross ice feed. Nice chance there. Shut down on and off the tape. Looked like David Nicoletti there. Ford keeps it alive, Nicoletti, center point. Down low on his back end, nice chance there for Peavy, couldn't hang on to it. Near side, it's chipped back down and underneath, off the uh, outside of the goal there. Peavy after it. Near side, Jay Krupp flips things up and out of danger. Knocked down by Yuri Peshtuka, and they'll rule that was with a high stick. 13-14 to go, opening period here. Peshtuka will disagree with that call. Thunderbirds continuing the 1-0 uh, lead here. Underneath, puck collected, moved out to the near side boards. Tommy Cardinal able to just chop at that one. Comes through Daniel Martin. Hammered in on goal. Modica punches that one out into the high slot. On this one now, Levi Armstrong. Armstrong gets it back, near side face-off circle away from Batita. Taken down below the Thunderbird goal line. Rabenikov gets pushed back onto the Carolina goal. Puck rimmed around near side. Schmidt able to just pound this one back in. Little give and go there. Intended for Austin Doe. Instead, Batita able to rustle this one back out to center. River Dragons chip it back in. Rabenikov, now Cardinal, has Martin over the line. Here's a chance, Daniel Martin. One-handed shot, he just pushed it wide. Really an opportunity there for Daniel Martin. Almost snuck that puck home. Kind of waving at it one-handed with the stick. We'll stay at 1-0, Thunderbirds. Dylan Farmer out of the zone. That pass intended for George Holt. It slips past the toe of his stick. Now a turnover right around in front. A chance saved by McBurney. Vinny DeAndre bearing down. Oh, what an opportunity. And McBurney keeps the door shut. Almost a very costly turnover in the defensive zone for the River Dragons there. Vinny DeAndre, great chance. McBurney comes out to the top of the blue paint, gets the glove sealed across the top of the left pad. And denies Vinny DeAndre what would have been his first goal this season. We'll redrop this puck. DeAndre switches, switches wings now after Cangelosi waved out of the faceoff. Chris Corgan to take this one. River Dragons out of the defensive zone. As we approach the 12 minute mark here, opening period. Gus Ford's tally the lone goal so far. Out away from Chris Corgan, picked up off the boards. Spun out there, Cangelosi gets taken down. Now over the line of chance, shot stopped by Modica, the rebound, and he gets that save as well. Two big opportunities, Dalton Anderson streaking down the left wing. Modica makes the first save, and Anderson got a decent crack at the rebound. Modica. Able to keep the door shut, 11.46 to go here in the first. Off the draw, comes back up top. Cross ice pass, Zach Sargis sends that one wide. Cleared all the way back out here. Rolls down into the right of Bailey McBurney. Icing is called and the shot's on goal right now. River Dragons five, Thunderbirds four. This game looking a bit more even and you gotta wonder if it's because of how last night's game was started, the fluke goal there off the leg of a defenseman in behind Modica. You wonder how much of an impact it really did have on the rest of the game, just as far as player mindsets going forward. Now back across center red. Stepping aside, Pestuka's Hunter Bersani, last night's first start. Had the River Dragons first goal and an assist as well. He's now lowering the shoulder, almost a great chance for Cameron Dimmitt. He gets sent down. 
Gus Ford. And we'll have a stoppage here as Dimmitt being held on to by Zach Sargis. And Sargis is going to go here for a rough. Sargis has some more words for the officials, and we've got more behind the play. Gus Ford with Jay Krupp. Krupp gives a chop to John Batita. And then some. What we've come to expect from Jay Krupp over the last little bit here. So Sargis in the box for a rough. And Carolina do its first power play of the night. Unsuccessful through five opportunities last night. Clouston, now Tommy Cardinal. Near side, Pestuka, center point, Clouston. Once Cardinal, one time shot, he fanned on it. Batita goes down to retrieve. Backhanded away from him, but held in by Clouston. Hesitation, now Cardinal, top of the left wing circle. Pair of River Dragons penalty killers come to him. And they move this one back out. Now here's a chance shorthand, MJ Graham. Hemmed off into the boards there by Von Clouston. Graham still after it. Those two battle behind the play. Oh, and Graham sends down Clouston. Play continues back the other way. We've got a whistle and more from MJ Graham. Von Clouston. No chance to get back to his feet. And now Nick Modica wants a piece of MJ Graham. As does Tommy Cardinal. 10.25 to go here in the first period. And the heat's getting turned up here. Clouston wants some more. MJ Graham goes to the penalty box, and it looks like Tommy Cardinal will as well. Cardinal, the late man, in on that little exchange. So we'll see how we'll, uh, how we'll skate on the other side of this one. Cangelosi and Josh Petrantonio. Two captains having the conversation. It was uh, a typical four check that just got more. You saw Clouston just kind of, he gave Graham no room going down the left wing. Kind of a, a textbook play there. Graham stayed with the play. Give MJ Graham a lot of credit for staying with it and going back into the corner, but the battle afterwards. Things just got uh, a little out of hand. So offsetting minors, those two penalties will not affect how we'll skate. We'll stay at five on four Thunderbirds. Still with a minute and eight seconds of power play time. Now it's Gus Ford striding over the line down the left side. Pulls up, finds Cangelosi. Near side, Pestuka. Gets it now to Dimmit. Watch closely there by Doe. River Dragons penalty kill rotates. Here's a chance, Peavy backdoor feed. Couldn't be worked out of his skates by Gus Ford. Brilliant pass by Peavy, and it's clearly the length of the ice. Pestuka now receiving the drop pass from Peavy. They'll switch sides of the ice. Cangelosi able to just flip this one back in. Cleared out off the boards. Can Cangelosi hold? Yes, he can. Near side, Yuri Pestuka. Pestuka on now. Dimmit wants a shot. Ricochets off the shin guards of Justin Schmidt. Up top, Cangelosi has it again. Near side, Ford, Pestuka, Dimmit, one-time shot blocker to side by McBurney. Final 10 seconds on the power play. Wanting Dimmit back down low was Cangelosi. Puck turned over, final five seconds. River Dragons don't have the numbers back the other way. Trevor Finch now. 9.03 to go. Jay Krupp. Check that. Zach Sargis is released. River Dragons remain... Undamaged on the penalty kill. Is this puck now settled down by Daniel Martin? Martin for Corgan. Wanted to drop that puck for John Batita. Settled down and coughed up now on and off the tape of Victor Grabenikov. River Dragons have an opportunity. Chris Corgan flips for Daniel Martin. Catching up to this puck, John Batita down the left side. Batita throws the shoulder, sends one in front for Grabenikov. Kicked that there, it wouldn't go. Rebenikov stays with it. Taken to the boards there by a shoulder check from Paul Fragio. And it's Petita back out at center. Drops for Von Clauston and he'll retreat into the Thunderbirds end.
Martin ahead through center. He gets taken down, and that will immediately be called. 8.03 to go. Daniel Martin hooked twice on that play. As we'll have a penalty, and we'll get into that and more when we come back on the other side of this break with more Thunderbirds hockey. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Robert Van Weinsberg in the penalty box now for the River Dragons. Two minutes for that hook on Daniel Martin. So the Carolina power play goes back to work here. It is Blake Peavy. Unsuccessful on the first attempt. But they go right back to the man advantage. Move back down low, Gus Ford across the goal line, walks out, shoots one, saved by McDur McBurney coming in late. Now Cameron Dimmitt flips it out in front. Reaching out was Vaughn Clausen. He couldn't hold that in at the line. And so Clausen retreats all the way back. Up now, Dimmitt down the left wing. Wants to drop for Gus Ford. Whirls around and chips that puck back in. River Dragons throw this one out near side, off the skates of Clauston. Here's a chance shorthanded for Austin Doe. Doe driving wide now on Yuri Pastuka. That play shut down, and now Cameron Dimmitt will take over. 7.20 to go. First bank, first period. One minute, 15 seconds remaining on the penalty to Robert Van Weinsberg. Is this play shut down as it hits the line? All the way back down to our left into the glove of Nick Modica. Rubenikov waiting now. George Holt flanks him to his left. Holt with the puck now. Strides across center red, taken into the boards there as he flips that puck in and now John Batita on the near side battles with Josh Petrantonio Batita with Daniel Martin rimmed around to the far side it takes a crazy bounce off the Zamboni doors final 41 seconds of the man advantage swatted out flipped all the way back down the ice good kill there Levi Armstrong clears the zone and Modica will stop it Holt to break things out again six and a half to go opening period 24 seconds remain on the power play Tommy Cardinal down, down the right side. Skates away there from Schmidt. Cardinal gets taken down, reaching for that loose puck. Cleared by the River Dragons, and now Modica's gotta come out to play this puck, bearing down on him, MJ Graham. Nice little fake by Modica. Calm under pressure, moves it on the backhand. Thunderbirds break in, Daniel Martin drops for Batita. Penalty time expires, and Batita, one too many stick handles there. Racing back after this one, out of the penalty box, Van Weinsberg. Locks up with Yuri Pestuka. His pass, turned around shot there from MJ Graham is stopped. After the Pestuka turnover. Near side, it's flipped back in on the backhand by Zach Sargis. Stopped by Nick Modica, 5.38 to go. All turnover right at the blue line. Winding, firing shot off the goal post. That puck stayed out again. Centering feed again. That shot redirected out by Modica on the follow-up chance from Paul Fragio. Now it's coughed up again. Here's Joe Cangelosi back the other way. A backhand shot saved by McBurney. And now Cangelosi in a fight in the corner. Cangelosi down. Levi Armstrong, it looked like, hit the uh, eject button on the gloves. Cangelosi didn't get a chance to get his off. Maybe Zach Sargis. 5.22 to go. Thunderbirds lead at 1-0 after a shot off the goal post. Counterattack chance back the other way. Cangelosi couldn't bury it. And he gets taken down. Zach Sargis won in the fight. Instead, he'll get the roughing call. Sargis back in the penalty box now. On the roughing call. Thunderbird power play gets its third opportunity here. As now the River Dragons take this puck out shorthanded. Turnaround shot. Clausen doesn't know where it is. He's able to just chop this thing down now for Blake Peavy. Hits center red. Wanted to drop that puck off for Gus Ford. Instead, the River Dragons dump it back in. 
Modica drops, leaves for Pestuka. Right at the five minute mark, first bank, first period. Cross ice feed intended for Blake Peavy. Shut down and chip back out. Pestuka and company will have to go back to work. Pestuka out with Clouston and Dimmitt. Ford and Batita out there as well. As now the Thunderbirds just can't even get back out into the neutral zone. Now here's a chance shorthanded. Jagger Williamson as Gus Ford gets tangled up there with Clouston. 50 seconds gone on the Thunderbird power play. Haven't been able to get into the offensive zone so far. Now here's a chance. Daniel Martin, top of the circles. Pulls up left wing. He's got all kinds of room. Thunderbird defenseman in the midst of a change. They were late getting into that play. Bettina now. Martin holds. Back down low for John Batita. Below the goal line, taken into the boards by Noah Doyle. Puck worked out now by Tommy Cardinal. Cross ice in the skates of Grabenikov. Back door now, John Batita. 40 seconds left. Martin, give and go with Batita. Down low, Cardinal now, left wing hash marks. Cardinal delays. Finds Clouston. Near side board, center point, Batita. Back for Clouston, the one time try there. Ricochets off Victor Grabenikov, stick now to the near side corner. With Martin, that puck gathered and flipped out on the backhand. Jagger Williamson clearing the zone there. Final 15 seconds on this Thunderbirds power play. It's Petita down the left side. Holds up and shoots one, save again there by Bernie. Follow up try sent wide again there by Petita. He gets tangled up in the high slot. Penalty time expires again. Back to back to back penalty kills here for the River Dragons. 3.13 to go. First bank, first period. Carolina out shooting Columbus 8 to 6. The score still 1 0 Thunderbirds. Schmidt moves this one now. And it's escorted all the way back out by Paul Frigeau. And all the way down it goes for an icing. 1 0 the score inside three minutes. We'll take a break and let's pause 10 seconds for station identification as well on the Thunderbirds radio network. We'll be back with more Thunderbirds hockey. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist helps you do more of the things you love. More laughs, more adventures, more hugs. We combine the brightest minds in medicine to bring you world-class care with a commitment to strengthen the health and wellness of our community. Because when it comes to the health of you and your family, no one should settle for anything short of life-changing. Back here at the Columbus Civic Center, the Thunderbird power play. 0 for 3 in this one. Some solid opportunities. Most notably that backdoor feed. Peavy found Gus Ford, but uh, the puck just a little too close to his skates. Ford with one goal already. He'll chop this puck in on the backhand here. Inside three minutes to go in the opening period. This one flipped back into the left of Modica and racing back to make sure icing is called George Holt. Face off all the way back down the other way. George Holt. All right, the Rochester Hills, Michigan. And the newest Thunderbird, Von Clouston, also a product of Rochester Hills, Michigan. Handful of other Michigan players on this roster. Dylan Farmer, Cameron Dimmitt as well. And as this puck tied up after that face off in the offensive zone for the Thunderbirds, now it's escorted back out. David Nicoletti collects. Two and a half, near side, Blake Peavy. His zone exit pass is knocked down. Taken now, three on two. Cameron Dimmitt, long shot, sent wide to the glove hand side of McBurney. Nicoletti chips it back in. Here's a chance, Gus Ford in the slot. Waits, 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 sends it in front, he scores. Oh, what a play, Gus Ford second of the game. Gus Ford, you want to talk about patience. He's got it in bucket loads right now. Speed coming out of that left wing corner. Hesitation, waited till he was almost parallel to the goal line and Ford tucks it in. Sliding it on the ice past Bailey McBurney and the Thunderbirds have a two to nothing lead. New 
neutral zone draw. One back by the River Dragons. Molly Clausen now out of the corner. Here's a chance Van Weinsberg centering. Feet in front, they score! River Dragons get it right back. Clauston centers, MJ Graham redirects it home, two to one. They waste no time getting back on the board here. River Dragons are on the board. Again, solid work out of the corner. Good body positioning in front by MJ Graham. Inside two minutes here, that shot right on. McBurney has a bit of trouble with the John Batita wrist shot. He'll cover that one for a faceoff. Graham's first tally of the year. Gets the River Dragons back at two to one. Face off out of the right wing, a turning shot by Daniel Martin, sent on goal and punched aside by McBurney. Held in, sent down for John Batita. Cardinal battles with a man there. This one chipped all the way back out, Paul Frigeau. Now George Holt races after this one, final 90 seconds. Bit of a dangerous pass there from Holt. Onto the tape of Cardinal, back for Holt. Rink wide again, Batita waits, sends it through to an area, Victor Grabenikov, knifed off his stick. Grabenikov following on, he gets taken down. Puck underneath Grabenikov somewhere. Jam play along the near side goal post. Cardinal gets pushed back. And now Grabenikov got to be careful not to take a holding penalty here. River Dragons on the exit here. Final 60 seconds. Martin away from Van Weinsberg. Giving a couple of stick taps on the ice, hoping he'd cough the puck up. Butita now down the left side, taken to the boards by MJ Graham. Gus Ford. Puck off the skate of an official. Almost fooled McBurney there. Ford again, waiting, Gus Ford. Lots of confidence as a centering pass for Cameron Dimmon is on and off his tape. 38 to go. Nicoletti, lots of time and space up high. Let's a wrister go, knocked down on its way. Held in by Pestuca, now it's finally rejected and sent back out. Nicoletti regroups for Pestuca. Pestuca collides with Noah Doyle in front. Schmidt swirls inside 20 seconds. Out of the River Dragons end. Away from Nicoletti, here's a chance, delayed call. Nicoletti will be booked on the trip there. Waving the stick in the skates as charging down the wing looked like Tom Maldonado. And so the River Dragons will have their first power play opportunity of the game. And Weinsberg to take this offensive zone face off. Two to one, River Dragons looking to carve back into the Thunderbird lead. <laughs> Defensive zone draw, Clouston back out, glove down by Martin, shorthanded, he's got a chance, final five seconds. That one just scrubbed to the corner, play killed immediately. As time expires here, first bank, first period. Pair of goals by Gus Ford and one by MJ Graham. Have us at a 2-1 lead for Carolina. We'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll start breaking down everything we saw here on the Thunderbirds TV and radio networks. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app, presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com.
lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference. Family owned since 1933. The Carolina Thunderbirds have a set of two custom wine labels that can be yours to take home today. The Thunderbirds Red and Carolina White are special edition, first run custom wine labels for Carolina Thunderbirds fans. Bottles are $40 individually and $75 when bought as a set. Call the Thunderbirds office to get yours today. 336-774-4625. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist helps you do more of the things you love. More laughs, more adventures, more hugs. We combine the brightest minds in medicine to bring you world-class care with a commitment to strengthen the health and wellness of our community. Because when it comes to the health of you and your family, no one should settle for anything short of life-changing. Conveniently located at the corner of Rinalda Road and Northwest Boulevard, Salem Smiles and Dr. Sarah C. Schof is the preferred orthodontist of the Carolina Thunderbirds. Back at the Columbus Civic Center, Thunderbirds in a critical game here in this early part of the 2021-2022 season. Leading the River Dragons by a score of two to one. Carolina trying to hold down the fort here much better first period tonight than the Thunderbirds saw last night. First and foremost, uh, right off the bat, not allowing uh, or, or not seeing uh, an unfortunate fluke goal enter the back of their net. Instead, the Thunderbirds had a chance to set up in the offensive zone. They have outshot the River Dragons by a 10 to seven mark uh, in the early stages, in the early period here in this Second game of a back-to-back -back on a Saturday night. Gus Ford would get the scoring started and Victor Grabenikov with the assist on that one as we take you back through the scoring here. Grabenikov back on the score sheet as we said for the first time in two weeks here. Grabenikov at one point leading the FPHL in scoring. Gus Ford, his first goal was impressive. His second goal twice as impressive. And it came about 14, 15 minutes later. Ford's hesitation and his patience were two attributes that Garrett Rutledge really lauded uh, when talking about Ford over the last little bit before uh, the player actually showed up and before we got to see any of Ford's on ice work. But the hesitation and the patience of drawing the River Dragon defenseman across the ice, stretching things out, Bailey McBurney Stayed with Gus Ford for as long as he could. McBurney stretching out, laying out with the left pad and the glove on top of it, unable to shut Ford down. And so Gus Ford had the yawning cage there. Ford had a handful of good opportunities in last night's contest. He kind of felt that he was one of those players that was due to break through, if not in last night's contest then in a game soon to follow, and lo and behold, Gus Ford on the score sheet tonight, not once, but twice. Tilsonburg, Ontario native, 93 points with Northland in the NCAA's D3 ranks not too long ago. And they played a handful of games for the making mayhem of the SPHL. Gus Ford finding a home for himself here in Carolina. Hot start here in his second Thunderbird game. 
And then it would be just a few seconds later, MJ Graham off of a brilliant feed. Robert Van Weinsberg rolling out of the near side corner. MJ Graham posted up in front. Handful of Thunderbirds around with him. Credit MJ Graham for the strength on the stick. Able to redirect that one between the wickets of Nick Modica. That would be MJ Graham's first goal of the season. And a penalty late in first period. Handful of uh, power play opportunities. Three of them for the Columbus River Dragons. They kill off all three. Zach Sargis in the box for roughing, as would it go MJ Graham. Van Weinsberg's hooking call on Daniel Martin uh, about midway through that period. That looked to send uh, the Thunderbirds to a power play. It would really put things over the edge. But again, the, the Carolina power play unable to break through the uh, River Dragons penalty kill here. And so 0 for 3 on those opportunities. Carolina leads it 2-1 to 1 right now. We'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll get more into those uh, power plays and penalty kills and how those things have been shaking out for the Thunderbirds and River Dragons in this one when we return with more Thunderbirds hockey. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app, presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference. Family owned since 1933. The Carolina Thunderbirds have a set of two custom wine labels that can be yours to take home today. The Thunderbirds Red and Carolina White are special edition, first run custom wine labels for Carolina Thunderbirds fans. Bottles are $40 individually and $75 when bought as a set. Call the Thunderbirds office to get yours today. 336-774-4625. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist helps you do more of the things you love. More laughs, more adventures, more hugs. We combine the brightest minds in medicine to bring you world-class care with a commitment to strengthen the health and wellness of our community. Because when it comes to the health of you and your family, no one should settle for anything short of life-changing. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking. Welcome back it's to the, the Columbus Perfect. Civic Center. Thunderbirds leading the River Dragons by a score of two to one. Carolina power play unable to strike so far here. Well, the Thunderbirds haven't needed the power play opportunities, and I, I do apologize if I sound like I'm out of breath. I, I had to run back down onto the concourse for a quick second, and uh, I did get a chance to count 103 steps uh, from ice level all the way up here to the, uh, the press box at the Columbus Civic Center. Didn't have to run up every single one of them. I, I was fortunately able to start at the bottom uh, of the 200 level here, but... Uh, had to race back up uh, just in time to get the uh, the intermission going here again. So thanks for bearing with us there. But talk about uh, talking about arenas and things around the FPHL. 
This barn here, the Columbus Civic Center, one of the uh, livelier barns we've seen. Thunderbirds, no stranger to the Columbus Civic Center over the last few years. Had a chance to speak with Thunderbirds goaltender Nick Modica uh, for a few moments earlier today, and he remarked that he and John Batita have actually played more games in this building than they have uh, back at the Thunderbirds' home in Winston-Salem at the Fairgrounds Annex. And it was a stat that, that didn't make a ton of sense at first and kind of shook it off, but go back and think about it. Modica and Batita really started their Thunderbirds' careers uh, last season. Modica only got a handful of games in 2019-20 before that season was cut short. So they played eight games here last year against the River Dragons. Still haven't played uh, more than once or twice at home prior to that. So uh, a bit of a home away from home for uh, Modica and Batita and some of the other Thunderbirds who are playing through, uh, again, some strange times over the last two seasons here in the FPHL and really in the, in the sports world in general. Elsewhere in the FPHL, the Port Huron Prowlers and Danbury Hattricks coming together for the second time in as many nights. Danbury walked out of the building with three points last night in McMoran Arena. So far tonight, the Port Huron really dictating the pace of play. Right now, they're up by a score of two to one. You can go federalhockey.com. Follow along with that one, and as I say it, the game most recently just being tied up here, so that information out of date. Looking forward on the Thunderbirds schedule. They'll go home for uh, the remainder of the week. They come right back down here next weekend, split a home and home with the River Dragons on the 19th and the 20th. That's on the road for quite some time until Thunderbirds able to host the Danbury Hat Tricks at the end of the month. Black Friday showdown one of the few opportunities here in the month of November that the Thunderbirds will have to play at home. Modica and company keeping things tight here. 2-1 score after a handful of games extremely high in scoring. Thunderbirds having a pair of 8-3 tilts with the Columbus River Dragons. 6-4 and 5-3 losses against Watertown. Last night's 3-1 loss here to the River Dragons. A combined four goal effort by both teams. The lowest scoring game uh, for the Thunderbirds thus far this season. As this one stands, it's on track to overtake that, but tough to imagine with some of the offensive scoring threats uh, on either sides of this one that that will stay, that this score will stay the same uh, throughout the duration of the game. One more break, and on the other side of that, we will have puck drop here. Modern Automotive second period, Thunderbirds leading the River Dragons by a score of two to one. Conveniently located at the corner of Rinalda Road and Northwest Boulevard, Salem Smiles and Dr. Sarah C. Schof is the preferred orthodontist of the Carolina Thunderbirds. Dr. Schof is a Winston-Salem native and a trusted name in orthodontics since 1992. So whether you're on the ice or in the stands, trust your teeth to Dr. Smashmouth and her team at Salem Smiles. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today.
Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference. Family owned since 1933. Sometimes we all need a bit of help. Come on. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. Let me give you a little tip. With four instructors ready to get your game to the next level, we're open to the public. Practice on our fully lit driving range and gear up at our pro shop. We're a proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call at 336-884-4653 and visit us in High Point. There you go. That's a bomb. Back inside the Columbus Civic Center as we get ready to start the modern automotive second period. Carolina and Columbus separated by one goal right now. A pair of Gus Ford goals on the board for Carolina. Lone goal for Columbus scored by MJ Graham. Nick Modica down to our right in the Carolina goal. Surprise starter. As we said, we expected Chris Paulin to make the start tonight. Modica played well after a shaky start last night. Been extremely alert and in the, in the flow of things for the start of this one. And again, Bailey McBurney down to our left. Still looking for his first FPHL win. Played a, a handful of games Limited sample size up in Quad City. An overtime loss uh, earlier this season. 1.92 goals against average. 9.52 save percentage there. So a minute 48 seconds of power play time for the Columbus River Dragons carryover. David Nicoletti in the penalty box for a tripping call. Nicoletti not typically someone finding himself in the penalty box. Dimmitt starts out on the penalty kill with Blake Peavy. Yuri Pestuka out there with George Holt as well. MJ Graham having extended conversation here with Dimmitt, former teammates here in Columbus. Off the center ice faceoff, it rolls all the way back in on McBurney. Taken carefully there by Paul Fragile. Drop back out. Striding ahead now with this one, Jagger Williamson. Williamson with speed and a fresh sheet of ice. Circles the wagons. Waits all the way back out, left point. Set right around in front, backdoor feed, big save by Modica. Oh, he gets across with the left pad. Still, it's loose, no one can get rid of that puck. Holt takes it in behind the goal. Down on the ice, poking at it, Van Weinsberg. Held into the line by Fragile. Away from Blake Peavy, Yuri Pestuka wraps this one all the way back out. And McBurney. We'll have to handle this one away from the forecheck of Yuri, uh, Blake Peavy. 50 seconds gone in this one. 56 seconds remain on the penalty to David Nicoletti. Near side, it's taken by Williamson. Intercepted by John Batita, played off Williamson one more time. Across the line, Williamson off sides. Another stoppage and another face off. And another testament the athleticism of Nick Modica. Incredible effort pushing from his right to his left. Lunging across and they're actually having a conversation about the goal crease right now. Ice appears to be running a bit more smoothly here at the Columbus Civic Center tonight. It was a, a point of, um, of interest last night. Talked to players about just the difficulties with it. It was a bit a bit rough and made handling pucks more on the difficult side. So neutral zone faceoff coming up here as the ice seems to be all squared away. Now the defensive zone, this one flipped all the way back out. 35 seconds on the David Nicoletti penalty. 8.42 here in this modern automotive second period. Chip back in behind Modica. Flipped around to the near side. 
Petrantonio finds a man all alone in front. Big opportunity there, Levi Armstrong. Puck went right between his legs. Armstrong on it now to Petrantonio. Petrantonio waits away from Batita, goes off his skate. Now finds its way, they work it back up top. In the slot, Austin Doe, backdoor feed. Petrantonio couldn't bury it. He's got it again. Now a chance, Doe back in front. Modica makes two big saves in front. As Nicoletti is out of the box, Thunderbirds have killed it off. Pair of saves by Modica right at the end there, sealing the door against the River Dragons captain. for one on the man advantage to start this one. Just shy of two minutes gone here in this middle period. A little false puck drop there. Joe Cangelosi back out on the ice. Been a bit of a rough go for Cangelosi so far in this game. Had the, uh, the almost fight there with Levi Armstrong. Got jumped, really. Cangelosi down on the ice before he even really knew what was happening. And the puck up high on a George Holt clearing attempt. That forced Cangelosi back to the bench for uh, an extended period of time. The captain's got it now and he plays it across for Chris Corgan. Out of his skates, Blake Peavy. Finds Cangelosi, now back down the right side. That's Tommy Cardinal. Taken away from Cardinal by Noah Doyle. Chop back out, River Dragons have it on the counter attack. Long dump in, ricochets off the stick of Cangelosi. Pounded back around to the near side, Chris Corgan. Zone exit, Cangelosi strides across center red, Corgan crunched behind the play. Now back in, McBurney stops and curls this one around. Far side for a defenseman. Justin Schmidt on this one now. Schmidt pulls up, and away from Cameron Dimmitt. Now with speed, Hunter Bersani able to just chip this one in around behind Modica. Dylan Farmer and Vaughn Clausen getting a stick up high there. Huge check right in front, Blake Peavy just gets sent down. Delayed penalty as the Thunderbirds bring this one back in. And as this one finally touched up, getting back to the bench, Hunter Bersani threw a huge check on Blake Peavy, who was nowhere near the puck. So high sticking will be the call. Bersani's gonna go off. Interesting the call there. So Carolina going back to the power play here with Bersani in the box, two for high sticking. Blake Peavy off the offensive zone face-off win. Vaughn Clouston back to the goal line in Peavy. Peavy up and across, Pestuka out of the corner, Ford alone in front, Dimmit the shot, that one sent wide to the blocker side. Clouston now for Peavy again, top of the circles. Sends it across, Pestuka right in front, Dimmit. Backdoor feed, wanted Peavy there. Held back out, Vaughn Clouston wanted Ford, then Peavy. Back outside, Gus Ford on his backhand. At the blue line, Yuri Peshtuka, that one off a of skate. It goes all the way back down into Thunderbird territory. Gus Ford back out across center red. Minute 15 to go on the power play. 16.03 to go. Modern Automotive second period coughed up and right off the tape of John Batita. He'll have to track back into Carolina territory for this one. Viktor Grabenikov now. Lone rushing on this Thunderbird squad, Joe Cangelosi. Up for Batita, able to play it in on his backhand. Daniel Martin, this one cranked around near sideboards, up off the high glass. It escapes Viktor Grabenikov and goes all the way back down. Modica to stop it. Cangelosi in behind his goaltender. 35 seconds on the power play. Cangelosi through center. Martin over the line. Sends that one off. Good to be the shin guards of the official. McBurney has all kinds of time and space to play with that one. And the Columbus goaltender plays it around. Now Petita goes to work down low with Martin. Watched there by Nolan and Maldonado. Up around that comes near side. Grabenikov 
And now Tommy Cardinal, then on for Batita. Final 10 seconds of the power play. Cardinal just lets that one go. Easy block, Batita collects. Cross ice feed, here's Cangelosi. He can't let a shot go, Grabenikov. Now to Cardinal, collapsing down low shot. Save, rebound. Batita on that one. Penalty time is over. Thunderbird still in the offensive zone. Cardinal gets taken down, lost that puck there. Hunter Bersani collects out of the penalty box. He takes a hit there from Tommy Cardinal. And Batita with some bumping in the neutral zone as well. Rebenikov plays that one up and over the stick of Daniel Martin. And so icing with 14.28 to go here in this second period. Brought to you by Modern Automotive. We'll step aside for a moment. And when we come back, more second period here from the Columbus Civic Center. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Atrium Health Wake Forest. Welcome back to the Columbus Civic Center. 14.28 to go. Carolina still hanging on to a 2-1 lead. A pair of goals from Gus Ford got him there. They outshoot the River Dragons by a mark of 12-9 at this current juncture. And still more attention is having to be paid to Nick Modica's goal crease. Modica mentioned earlier on that uh, there was a spot in his blue paint last night that was giving him some trouble. Not sure if it's this spot that's being worked on right now or the other end down to our left. Blue paint didn't seem to bother him too much last night, though. Modica, again, we talked about his athleticism and some of the strange bounces that, uh, that can come around in this arena. Off the clearing attempt, popped off a high stanch, and Modica was out of the goal to play it. Had to jump all the way back in and dive through the top of the crease, lunging out with that goal stick, keeping the puck out somehow. We went back and looked at the film, and it was John Batita on the back check who was actually able to come back and knock that puck away for the second opportunity. So now we're ready to go here. Offensive zone face off to the right of Modica. Wheeled back around, Daniel Martin can't play that puck. Almost a costly turnover there. Tommy Cardinal was bearing down on Jay Krupp. Instead, the River Dragons have this one dropped off. Miscommunication there, MJ Graham and Jay Krupp. Graham thought he was going to drop it off for Krupp. Now Grabenikov wheels this one around near side, looking for Daniel Martin. Krupp sees this one played back. The River Dragons to start again. Doyle. Wanted to go to his defensive partner. Instead, it bounces off the boards. Clauston able to just chip this one up off Grabenikov. Grabenikov now ahead for Cameron Dimmitt. He's wrestling with the puck. Can't come away with it. Noah Doyle. And now Justin Schmidt. Pace slowing down here. 13.35 to go. Second period. Drawn on now the River Dragons. Moving things ahead. MJ Graham now down the left side. Lone Thunderbird goals, or Lone River Dragon goal store. Big check in the corner, Clauston catches Graham and Graham's gonna go back at Clauston. Graham gets a free hand up there on Blake Peavy. And now back to our left, here comes Yuri Pestuka into the offensive zone. Slips a move to the goal, Pestuka the shot there. Went wide to the glove hand side of McBurney. Chris Corgan after this one. Chips it on now for Gus Ford. Trying to settle the bouncing puck through for Peavy. Ford on it, loose in the slot. Now the River Dragons corral it and throw it back out to center where it's Yuri Pestuka. Pestuka the long dump in. Blocking aside by McBurney. Taken by David Nicoletti. And now Chris Corgan. Corgan gets hauled down. Ripped around to the far side boards. Held in now by George Holt. Thunderbirds get a line change. Holt lets that one go. Redirected in front. Corgan's tip couldn't go. And now it's flipped all the way back around. Far side, Corgan battling for it there. 
12-26, this one rimmed again. Awkward bounce off a of stance, we talked about that. Nearly cost Bodica and the Thunderbirds dearly. As now 12-15 remain in this modern automotive second period. River Dragons again waiting patiently. Thunderbirds lined up in the trap right now. Chris Corgan, the man in deep on the four check. Cangelosi and Vinny DeAndre forwards in the slot. Now here's a chance back the way. Shot, they score! Austin Doe, heavy wrist shot low to the stick side. River Dragons tie this one up at two. It took time and a lot of patience. River Dragons lumbered out of their own end with that puck. But they turned the speed on once they hit the red line. Austin Doe and all of a sudden the Thunderbirds found themselves staring down a two on one. Doe takes it to the goal with confidence and fires a heavy wrister past the blocker of Nick Modica. Back out is now we find ourselves dead even one more time. Puck leaks into the neutral zone and can now be settled down here by Levi Armstrong. Armstrong whistled down off sides. Skates away from Von Clauston here. Thunderbirds still out shooting the River Dragons 13 to 10. You could tell that Austin Doe had that corner wired in. Second he picked up that puck, it looked as though he already knew where he was going to shoot. Low to the blocker side on Modica. Tough spot for any goaltender. And as Clouston flips this one ahead here as we approach the 11 minute mark. Batita carries this one in. High slot, that one blocker to side easily by McBurney. Batita again from the blue line, Clouston. Steps around a man, long shot saved by McBurney. The rebound sent on goal as well. Daniel Martin able to chop that one. And now here comes Josh Petrantonio. Let's it go, Armstrong down the right side. Sharp angle shot, save Modica, the rebound kicked out as well. Two big chances, Doe loose in front, Modica pokes it away. Partially blocked shot there, the Thunderbirds find themselves in some trouble right now. All the way back around, up top. D to D they go. On and off the stick of Hunter Bersani. River Dragons still have it though. Long shot saved by Modica. They, Thunderbirds look to be going the other direction. Instead, the River Dragons stop that breakout in its tracks. Nick Modica forced to make a pretty solid save. Ten and a half to go here in this second period. Seeing more and more of Hunter Bersani as this one goes on. Bersani waved out of this offensive zone faceoff right now. Off the draw, it comes back behind Modica's goal. Blake Peavy battles for it there. Pestuka away from Dalton Anderson, and now it rolls up. Peavy having to hustle after this one. Gets bodied off there. Nice, strong play on the puck there from Hunter Bersani. Able to outmuscle Peavy. Collision in open ice. Poked nicely there by Bersani. Swirling after that one and chipping it in. Finch. And now Nicoletti after it. Far side corner, Peavy coming back to help. Gus Ford looked a little surprised as that high shot caught a man up under the chin. It leaks back to the point. Maldonado long shot sent wide. Finally settled down by Nicoletti. He's able to throw this one back out. Gus Ford settles it down. 9.45 to go, second period. Here's a chance, Ford in front. Corgan able to chip that one back for Ford. He's got it behind the goal. Ford for Peavy. Has his stick lifted. Peavy strong on the puck, can he hold it in? Off the glass, here's a chance. Ford with Corgan. Nice move by Ford. Oh, he curled it to the backhand and sent it just wide on the glove hand side. Held in by Farmer. River Dragons throw this one back up. Intended for Trevor Finch, no icing. So Nick Modica comes out to play this one. George Holt with some speed across center red. 9.07 to go, here comes Holt. Crashes towards the goal. Gets caught there by Bailey McBurney. 
Puck works through right in front. Petita wants him in. George hold the follow-up chance. That one off the cuff of the glove. Now a chance back the other way for the River Dragons. Krupp just tries the area pass. Modica has to chip that one away. It ends up in Dylan Farmer's control. Now back the other way, Martin. Martin across the red line. Into the offensive zone, knifed away from John Batita. Well, carried on here by Van Weinsberg. Two on one again. Van Weinsberg in front. Nice stop there. Great defensive play by Clauston. Clauston laid down on the ice, put the stick against it. Able to deny that cross ice pass. Now a chance again. Batita, offensive zone shot. Save made by McBurney. No rebound on this one. And McBurney covers for a face off. 8.21 to go. Thanks to the goal by Austin Doe. We're all tied up. Carolina 2, Columbus 2. As Jay Krupp jousts with John Batita. We'll follow up on that with more on the other side of this break. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Welcome back inside the Columbus Civic Center. John Batita most recently getting mixed up with Jay Krupp in this one. You'll remember Krupp having a handful of altercations in last night's contest. Group uh, flipping up the helmet of Batita earlier in tonight's game. Talk about players playing the role of agitator. That's Jay Crew for the Columbus River Dragons. As this one chopped at it, ends up up and out of play over the netting. Swatted out by Von Clauston. Group getting involved with a handful of players in last night's contest. First it was David Nicoletti, and then Thunderbird goaltender Nick Modica. Had some words for the River Dragons alternate captain. In Glen Allen, Virginia. Group another one of those players. A journeyman in this league is now. Here's a chance back the other way. Another two on one. Petrantonio, the shot stopped by Modica. And more. Petrantonio and Clauston. Clauston drawing the ire of a handful of River Dragons here. Zach Sargis comes in to help. Clauston has his jersey pull off over his head. Petrantonio takes Clauston down. 8.08 to go in the second period. As tempers flare once again. Clauston and Petrantonio being taken to the box. River Dragons captain looking to provide a spark here. Another pair of offsetting minors in this one. Petrantonio and Clauston. Yvonne Clauston playing a handful of games for the River Dragons over the last few seasons. Some former teammates and a handful of players on either roster that have played for each other. It's one of the more interesting parts of this rivalry that as heated as it gets between these two teams, many of these players were teammates at different points in time. Some of them won championships together. Joe Cangelosi and Jay Krupp, teammates on that 2019 Thunderbirds Championship Club. Cangelosi and Krupp were the first to go at it in last night's contest. Had a bit of a dust up in this one as well. Lower shooting game here in this one. Fewer opportunities though, it was end to end for the last little bit. Thunderbirds just edging the River Dragons 15-14 on the shot board. As it looked like some of an innocuous play that really led to all of this. As now finally we'll have things all sorted out. Face off again ruled back in the Thunderbirds end. The conversation most likely on how to handle the penalties. Four on four, five on five, and again, this 
taking a bit of time to rectify. Hunter Versani getting set to take this face off against John Batita. Martin and PV on with him. Tommy Cardinal, that is. And now a conversation between the officials and Garrett Rutledge. Rutledge most likely asking why Von Clauston's in the box. Clauston going to the net along with Josh Petrantonio. Zach Sargis was the original uh, second man in. As now we're all buttoned up and ready to go. So Batita against Sargis. Offensive zone draw for the River Dragons here. Not too long after Austin Doe tied this game up at two. Handful of odd man rushes, now a chance up high, knocked away by Viktor Grabenikov. Buck flipped up, stays in play. Eight minutes to go, Modern Automotive, second period. Fired wide to the stick side of Nick Modica. Pass Nicoletti, taken now by Batita. John Batita through center. Hits the red line and throws this one back in. Tommy Cardinal after it. Played away from Cardinal by Brad Nolan. Now the River Dragons have numbers back the other way. Speed down the left side, it's Bersani. Pulls up, long shot sent well wide. Down in the blue line, Finch, another long shot, easy save by Modica, had some trouble with the rebound though. An explosive one off the right pad of the Carolina netminder. Nicoletti gets his stick stuck in the boards there. So resulting from that, an offensive zone chance here for the River Dragons if they can pull that puck off the boards. And they do, Finch cutting towards the goal. He gets taken down and that'll be a penalty. Viktor Grabenikov called for a trip. Grabenikov standing in the way there. As Trevor Finch has some words for Nick Modica. So the Thunderbirds will be shorthanded. Grabenikov just looked to step in the way and separate the man from the puck. Grabenikov two in the box for tripping. And so as the momentum continues to shift here, Modica has his work cut out for him. 7-10 to go. Second period brought to you by Modern Automotive. River Dragons back on the power play. Their second opportunity of the night. Pestuka lays a heavy check there in the far side corner. That puck knocked away. Pestuka waves at it. Come together to a side. Now it leaks out. Blake Peavy can't chip it all the way back out. Cangelosi does. And now two Thunderbirds race after that puck. It's poked right in front of the Carolina bench. Taken back in now with some speed. Backdoor feet, Graham. Backdoor shot, that one high over the glass. Set on goal by Jay Krupp. Towards the goal. Out of this right wing corner, Krupp on it now. Van Weinsberg from the hash marks. Dropping now for Nolan. George Holt gathers that one and wraps it all the way back out off the glove of Blake Peavy. 6.20 to go, a minute nine seconds on the Thunderbirds penalty kill. Brought ahead now, Van Weinsberg into the Carolina zone from the goal line. Uses the boards, chips it around. Backside Maldonado underneath again for Krupp. Far side working up top, MJ Graham. Graham from the left wing faceoff circle. Away from Holt. Now it's Krupp again. 38 seconds on the power play. Graham from the tops of the circles. Waits and sends that one cross ice. Off the boards, it's taken now by Maldonado. On and across, can't be handled there. Move back down low from the goal line. River Dragons crashing. Left away from Van Weinsberg's stick. Now again, MJ Graham has some trouble with that one. Holt comes over, chips it off the boards. Van Weinsberg again. Out to a standstill here. Van Weinsberg poked away. And now it's going to be a chance back the other way. Short-handed for the Thunderbirds. A shot. Cardinal stopped there on the glove hand side by McBurney. Great opportunity. Tommy Cardinal had tons of time and space. The Thunderbirds kill it off, though. Long shot, Petita. Blocker to side there by McBurney. Now it's gathered and moved back the other way. Cardinal 
Given a rough ride in front of the Thunderbirds bench. Van Weinsberg goes after him. Play continues, those two have to be separated. In behind the goal of Nick Modica. Taken to the boards and play called to a stoppage of another penalty coming up. 4.41 to go, we'll get this one sorted out. 2-2 two, two the score, we'll be back with more Thunderbirds hockey. The Carolina Thunderbirds have a set of two custom wine labels that can be yours to take home today. The Thunderbirds Red and Carolina White are special edition, first run custom wine labels for Carolina Thunderbirds fans. Bottles are $40 individually and $75 when bought as a set. Call the Thunderbirds office to get yours today. 336-774-4625. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking. Welcome back inside the Columbus Civic Center. Levi Armstrong in the box. Looked to be two minutes for a hold after that play. Getting tied up in front of the Thunderbirds bench. And so Carolina back to the power play. Unsuccessful on their first three opportunities tonight. As they'll drop this puck again. And we'll have to go right back at it. Tommy Cardinal back on the ice. He's on the left wing with Blake Peavy. Cardinal had Outstanding opportunity, shorthanded breakaway to round out that uh, most recent River Dragons power play. As now we'll wait here, we'll have to take the penalty down and move it back on the board. There we go. Redrop the puck here, Levi Armstrong in the box. As now here comes Yuri Peshtuka, and we'll have another stoppage and another penalty. Well, that didn't last very long, did it? Cardinal, after two seconds, Tommy Cardinal in the box. And so we'll skate four on four for the next little bit. Tough play there, the Thunderbirds looking to gain some momentum and build on something as they've seen their lead vanish. 1-4 on four in last night's game, and it was kind to the Thunderbirds. Clouston buried Carolina's lone goal on it. And a long shot redirected wide there, past the stick of Petrantonio. Now roaring out with some speed, Gus Ford. Up and away from Blake Peavy. Cangelosi and then Pastuca drops it back now for Ford. Wanted to go cross ice there for Cangelosi, couldn't do it. Blake Peavy now out of the Carolina zone. Pestuka patiently sends a backhander up for Cangelosi. Can't get up ice in time, and now here's a chance back the other way. Williamson alone against Modica. Backhander stopped by Modica. May have gotten some help from the goalpost as well. Brilliant opportunity, great speed from Williamson. But Modica again equal to the task. Cangelosi drops for Peavy. Long stretch pass across the width of the ice. Gus Ford up for Grabenikov. Now Peavy. Shot low and wide. Paul Frigeau steers this one up for Williamson again. 50 seconds on the four on four. 327 in this motor automotive second period. Down the right side, sent in front. Rising shot there. Catches the tip of Modica's glove. Now it's Batita. Batita trying to poke this one out. He can't do it. Paul Frigeau keeps it alive. Modica out to play it. Near side, PV. Bounces it underneath for Grabenikov. Grabenikov, nice that one through. Batita collects, he's got one man back on him. Cancelosi with it now. Kicks it from his skate to his stick, long shot, Martin right on. And a solid glove save by Bailey McBurney.
2.53 to go, Modern Automotive second period. Carolina and Columbus tied at two. Might be important if the scoreboard reflects that. John Bettina now off the offensive zone drop. Moving around to the far side. River Dragons collect, back out through center. Noah Doyle waving there. John Batita may have a chance. Batita all over Doyle. Can't chip it away from him. Batita from the right wing, face off circle. Both penalties expire. So we find ourselves back at five on five. Martin, outstanding work trying to move that puck free. Batita up top, Cardinal. Into the skates of Batita, rolling puck. He can't settle it down. And now Batita throws that one off the heel of the goaltender's stick. Martin trying to force a man off the puck. He's got it at center. Martin across now for George Holt. Final 2-10 of the period. Off the skate of Lake Peavy. He'll roll after this one. McBurney out to play it. Peavy steals it. McBurney's got to get back in front. A chance for Corgan. Can't settle the puck down. Nor can Nicoletti. Cross forward across for Peavy. Back underneath for Chris Corgan now. Corgan from the goal line. Center point, Nicoletti. Thrown down into the slot, knocked down on its way. Airmared all the way back out. And so clauston has got a chance. Waiting at the blue line, here's a chance. Gus Ford, he's got speed. Ford fires that one, it caught a stick and goes wide. Rebound sent in front, now here's a chance. Clauston's shot is stopped by McBurney. Chaos in the River Dragons end. Two big opportunities as Carolina had Columbus in the midst of a line change. Great work by Ford and Clauston. McBurney comes out, just a desperation save there, throwing both hands up in front of him. He makes the stop and keeps us at a 2-2 game. Final 90 seconds of this period, fortunate bounce for Carolina. Ford to Peavy, a low shot. That misses wide to the blocker side. Corgan. Underneath, now it's Gus Ford out of the corner. Wanted Pestuk in the slot. Shot pops up in the air. No one can really find it for a moment. Now it's Pestuka. Turns and fires that one. Blocker to side. McBurney the save. Chance in front. Loose puck can't be settled down and it escapes all the way through the legs of Von Clauston. MJ Graham hard on him. Clauston plays it from Odika. Coughs it up though. Krupp back down low. 56 seconds in the period. Pestuka now. Wanted the stretch pass for Butita. Knocked away from him. Game almost opening up here for a moment. Clauston made the best of a back situation, moving the puck back for Modica. Now it's a chance, two on one, Batita in front. Martin, the shot, always oh, fanned on it, it rolled up on him. Puck just squirts out from underneath the stick of Martin. Now a chance in front again, Clauston almost fed there by Gus Ford. Final 28 seconds of the period, Jay Krupp. Both teams need a break after this one. Final 20 underneath the Carolina goal. Chip back out by Clauston. Pass the stick of Tommy Cardinal. Final 10 seconds, Finch almost coughs this one up. One last chance, Bersani. Cross ice feed, River Dragons have it. Grabenikov taken to the boards. Sent back down low and kept underneath by George Holt. He'll make sure that play does not come out over top of the goal line. And time expires here in this second period. Carolina out shooting Columbus 20 to 16. Two to the score. Thunderbirds holding on here in this period. Trying, trying, trying to uh, squeak three points out of this weekend. We'll send you to a break and when we come back, the Pine Tree Tavern second intermission report. We'll break down what you saw in the second and what to look forward to in the third. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. 
gear up at the pro shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference. Family owned since 1933. The Carolina Thunderbirds have a set of two custom wine labels that can be yours to take home today. The Thunderbirds Red and Carolina White are special edition, first run custom wine labels for Carolina Thunderbirds fans. Bottles are $40 individually and $75 when bought as a set. Call the Thunderbirds office to get yours today, 336-774-4625. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist helps you do more of the things you love. More laughs, more adventures, more hugs. We combine the brightest minds in medicine to bring you world-class care with a commitment to strengthen the health and wellness of our community. Because when it comes to the health of you and your family, no one should settle for anything short of life-changing. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Conveniently located at the corner of Rinalda Road and Northwest Boulevard, Salem Smiles and Dr. Sarah C. Schof is the preferred orthodontist of the Carolina Thunderbirds. Dr. Schof is a Winston-Salem native and a trusted name in orthodontics since 1992. So whether you're on the ice or in the stands, trust your teeth to Dr. Smashmouth and her team at Salem Smiles. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the app store and download today. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic, the Thunderbirds Blonde A. Welcome back to the Columbus Civic Center. Carolina and Columbus all tied up at two through 40 minutes. End to end action, the physicality has been turned up a bit. The, uh, the heat as well. Carolina out shooting the River Dragons 20 to 16 so far. 10-9 in that most recent period. And from a Columbus perspective, more to like about that period than there was from the first. They found more control, did the River Dragons, um, in their breakouts through neutral territory, spending much more time in the Carolina end, making the Thunderbirds run around and chase pucks. Modica stood strong, he had to make a couple of very strong saves. Um, but the River Dragons seem to be having the, the heavier of the opportunities. Talk about heavy shots, that Austin Doe shot was the lone tally of the second period. Coming at the 8.08 mark, Doe's goal tied us up. And again, after a turnover, pardon me, not after a turnover, after a slow breakout there, the, the River Dragons had all sorts of time to break that puck out. Carolina waiting back, they had one four checker in deep, two at the blue lines, and then the two defensemen waiting at the red line. Kind of that one, two, two high, um, and the River Dragons just able to carve right through it, patiently working things up. They found the gap in it, 
and the result was Austin Doe on a two on one, able to just rip that thing low to the blocker side of Modica. Not a ton Carolina Netminer could have done on that one. But if we get a repeat of last night, the River Dragons finding their legs under themselves uh, more and more as time goes on. You can only wonder what they'll come out with here in the third period with two solid frames behind them. River Dragons look to have a couple of, uh, of threatening scoring opportunities, especially right there at the end of that period. We'll see what they've got in store coming out here for the third. When we come back after this break, we'll take a look at the Thunderbirds, see what they did right, what they can work on going into this third period when we're back with more Thunderbirds hockey. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference. Family owned since 1933. The Carolina Thunderbirds have a set of two custom wine labels that can be yours to take home today. The Thunderbirds Red and Carolina White are special edition, first run custom wine labels for Carolina Thunderbirds fans. Bottles are $40 individually and $75 when bought as a set. Call the Thunderbirds office to get yours today. 336-774-4625. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist helps you do more of the things you love. More laughs, more adventures, more hugs. We combine the brightest minds in medicine to bring you world-class care with a commitment to strengthen the health and wellness of our community. Because when it comes to the health of you and your family, no one should settle for anything short of life-changing. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Conveniently located at the corner of Rinalda Road and Northwest Boulevard, Salem Smiles and Dr. Sarah C. Schof is the preferred orthodontist of the Carolina Thunderbirds. Dr. Schof is a Winston-Salem native and a trusted name in orthodontics since 1992. So whether you're on the ice or in the stands, trust your teeth to Dr. Smashmouth and her team at Salem Smiles. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina. Back inside the Columbus Civic Center. Thunderbirds and River Dragons all knotted up at two. Much different spot than we found ourselves in last night. Von Clauston even things up for the Thunderbirds earlier in the first period. And Robert Van Weinsberg put the River Dragons ahead in the second. They would not relinquish control. And Van Weinsberg has been a force 
for the River Dragons in this one again. Getting a lot of the offensive charges, but on the other side of the puck, Gus Ford has been the standout player for the Carolina Thunderbirds. Ford again, the late addition uh, earlier this week by head coach Garrett Rutledge. Uh, his game considered a, a two-way game, a playmaking game, but again, you saw the tools that Gus Ford brings to the table. Patience first and foremost, you saw that showcased on the second goal. Ford playing a handful of games again in the SPHL with Quad City two years ago, making mayhem this past season. The experience and uh, the calm demeanor of Ford, just 26 years of age, really shining through, and he's been probably the standout player for the Thunderbirds in this one. Clouston uh, for Carolina as well. We talked in the pregame show about the two new guys needing to make an impact. They've done so in this one, at least through 40 minutes. They'll need to continue to do that in the third. Another quick break here. Just a few minutes left in the intermission report. When we come back, we'll break down this goaltending matchup and talk about what to look forward to as we head into the third period here on the Pine Tree Tavern second intermission report. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference. Family owned since 1933. Conveniently located at the corner of Rinalda Road and Northwest Boulevard, Salem Smiles and Dr. Sarah C. Schof is the preferred orthodontist of the Carolina Thunderbirds. Dr. Schof is a Winston-Salem native and a trusted name in orthodontics since 1992. So whether you're on the ice or in the stands, trust your teeth to Dr. Smashmouth and her team at Salem Smiles. Sometimes, we all need a bit of help. Come on. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. Let me give you a little tip. With four instructors ready to get your game to the next level, we're open to the public. Practice on our fully lit driving range and gear up at our pro shop. We're a proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call at 336-884-4653 and visit us in High Point. There you go. That's a bomb. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So, we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app, presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist helps you do more of the things you love. More laughs, more adventures, more hugs. We combine the brightest minds in medicine to bring you world-class care with a commitment to strengthen the health and wellness of our community. Because when it comes to the health of you and your family, no one should settle for anything short of life-changing. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. One last time here on the Pine Tree Tavern, second intermission report. From the Columbus Civic Center, Dragons and Thunderbirds all tied up at two here. Nick Modica and Bailey McBurney have been busy in this one. 20 shots for the Thunderbirds, McBurney, 18 saves in this one. He was a perfect 10 for 10 in that second frame. McBurney in his first professional season 
Talked about him a little earlier on. Product of UMass Boston. 73 games played at the NCAA D3 level. 2.38 goals against average. 916 save percentage there. In his first pro season, off to a pretty solid start. River Dragons proving that they've got uh, a dependable corral of goaltenders here. McBurney, Rutledge, Sean Kuhn as well. Things looking A-OK -okay in the blue paint for the Columbus River Dragons. And for the Carolina Thunderbirds, Nick Modica continues to battle through this one. 14 stops to his credit so far in this game. And it's 2-2 right now. There were some high quality opportunities had it not been for Modica. This game could be 3-2, 4-2 or more. So Modica will be counted on time and time again in this third period. Just you watch as the River Dragons come out and try to take the lead. Watch number 29 in white. Modica in the goal down to our left. When we come back 2-2, start of the third period here with more Thunderbirds hockey. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference. Family owned since 1933. Conveniently located at the corner of Rinalda Road and Northwest Boulevard, Salem Smiles in Dr. Sarah C. Schof is the preferred orthodontist of the Carolina Thunderbirds. Dr. Schof is a Winston-Salem native and a trusted name in orthodontics since 1992. So whether you're on the ice or in the stands, trust your teeth to Dr. Smashmouth and her team at Salem Smiles. Sometimes, we all need a bit of help. Come on. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. Let me give you a little tip. With four instructors ready to get your game to the next level, we're open to the public. Practice on our fully lit driving range and gear up at our pro shop. We're a proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call at 336-884-4653 and visit us in High Point. There you go. That's a bomb. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So, we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app, presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist helps you do more of the things you love. More laughs, more adventures, more hugs. We combine the brightest minds in medicine to bring you world-class care with a commitment to strengthen the health and wellness of our community. Because when it comes to the health of you and your family, no one should settle for anything short of life-changing. To the six. One last time here tonight. Back inside the Columbus Civic Center. 20 minutes separate these two teams from two possibilities here. The Thunderbirds looking to snag three points, or at least two out of three. So they can go home feeling somewhat satisfied with themselves and the River Dragons. Looking to make it a, cl a clean sweep on the weekend. Hoping for all six points on their first weekend back home in front of these fans here in Columbus, Georgia. John Batita's line stands in against that of Robert Van Weinsberg. River Dragons electing to go with some of their gunners here. Van Weinsberg, MJ Graham on his right, Jay Krupp on his left. Group tangled up with Tommy Cardinal. Off the draw, we're off and running here. In this third period, brought to you by Newco Motors. MJ Graham, score the first. River Dragons goal, a chance in front there. Modica turned it aside. Quick with that right pad as Van Weinsberg was right on the doorstep. 
Wants to send that one through, and he does. Very Pestuka drops that one up off a shoulder at the blue line. River Dragons have to hesitate touching that one. And now George Holt on it. On his back end, got to be careful here. Pocket pick, Van Weinsberg wants a man. Follow-up chance high and wide. Up past the glove and the head of Nick Modica. Pestuka up off the glass, just helped back out through center by Tommy Cardinal. 9-12 to go. 19-12. Rather in this third period, that glove up and into the catching mitt of Modica. As time goes on, and these teams get more and more fatigued, you see the importance of the good skating ability from Robert Van Weinsberg. Right place, right time, and he almost, almost had a good opportunity to bury that puck on Modica. Carolina Netminer just a bit quicker with those pads in front. The strength of Van Weinsberg has been on display as well over the last 48 hours. Van Weinsberg scoring what would become the eventual game-winning goal in last night's contest. That came back in the second period, banging home his own rebound on the backhand past the blocker of Modica. Having more troubles with the ice here as we look to drop the puck 58 seconds into this third period. And hearing some of the rumblings uh, from the staff of both teams and uh, the arena staff as well. Just having to, to kind of work through these ice problems. They actually brought the temperature of the ice down to 16 degrees um, in an attempt to counteract some of the melting uh, issues they've been having. Problems with standing water as well as Josh Petrantonio now. Down the right side into the Thunderbirds end. Shrugged off by Viktor Grabenikov. Petrantonio away from him. Grabenikov has to be careful not to take a penalty. Out of the corner. River Dragons have it. Spinning. Chance back up top. Austin Doe wanted to chip that one back for Schmidt. Schmidt has to retreat to the safety of his own blue line instead. This one dropped off now. Petrantonio. That one. Chopping at the stick of Blake Peavy. Goes up and out of play as it's redirected. Play continues after a neutral zone faceoff. Minute and a half gone here in the third period. Shots 20 to 17 in favor of the visitors. Cangelosi able to win that draw sideways for the Thunderbirds. Up off the glass away from Tommy Cardinal. Move back in by Zach Sargis. Hit on Finch there by Dylan Farmer. Farmer comes back after the Thunderbirds move that puck underneath. Kicked at there by Finch. Scored his first FPHL goal last night. Cangelosi moves this one ahead. Trying to find Cardinal. Can't work it free out of some skates. And now it's Vinny DeAndre back through center into River Dragon territory. Sargis, they'll go D to D now. Long, heavy shot off the turnover. Stepped into and turned aside by McBurney. Gus Ford, forechecking here for the Thunderbirds. In deep and around it goes. Daniel Martin with it there. Two aside, they come together in this near side corner. Martin and Ford worked free now by Paul Frigel. Out to the far side, stepped into by Joe Cangelosi. River Dragons counter back through center. Just two men there as they'll flip it in and go for a line change. Finch gets tangled up on his way back to the bench. He goes down. Play continues. George Holt wanted to find Blake Peavy. Can't do it there. McBurney just able to stop this one. Oh, hang on there. Almost a dangerous turnover. Gus Ford throws that one towards the goal. McBurney coughed the puck up in a dangerous area. That chance shut down in River Dragons territory. Now back come the Thunderbirds. Gus Ford dropped it back to late offside. Yuri Pestuka has to hesitate. Does so nicely. 16.46 to go here in the third. Is that puck? Leaks between the wickets of Blake Peavy. Taken wide now here by Brad Nolan. Into the Thunderbirds end. They go back up top. Point blast. That one knocked down by Peavy. On the rebound. Backed in front there. MJ Graham with a big chance. They have double hit it. Now he sends it in front again. Off some skates. And here comes Daniel Martin. Right wing. Gus Ford's got it. Martin the trailer. Batina on the ice now. Ford waiting patiently. Wants the wrap chance. Hesitates. Throws it back up top. Grabenikov the shot. Right into the glove there of McBurney. Great patience in skating from Gus Ford. 
Long point shot and a good save by McBurney. No traffic in front. Columbus Netminder had no chance seeing that one. Sixteen, seventeen to go. Thunderbirds and River Dragons all tied up here at two. John Batita gets waved down to the left wing faceoff. River Dragons have that one off the draw. Noah Doyle chips things back out. John Batita has this one played away from him by Levi Armstrong. So Grabenikov drifts back in behind the safety of Nick Modica's goal. Grabenikov out to the far side now. Clouston couldn't get a clean dump away on that one. Now it bounces awkwardly off the boards. Chance in front. Armstrong a shot. All oh, that one just sent wide. Another crazy bounce out of that right wing corner in the Thunderbird zone. Nearly cost them. As Clausen now into the boards with Levi Armstrong. Tommy Cardinal comes in to help. Trying to poke that puck free. No one will move it. Staple gun there by the left skate of Levi Armstrong. Pretty soon we might get a whistle here. 15-22 to go. Finally that puck worked free. It's Grabenikov to take it out now for Carolina. Up for Chris Corgan, down the left wing. He's got Batita with him. Corgan lowers the shoulder, sends it in front for Batita. Works it to an area. Corgan's got it. Near side, has some time. Wait, shoots, save there by McBurney. Now all the way back out to center. David Nicoletti as we hit the 15-minute mark. Chip back in and underneath. Noah Doyle on it there for Columbus. Doyle away from Ford. Far side, work back in. Doyle has to button hook and switch sides of the ice. They go back now. Justin Schmidt near side with a cross ice feed. Fresh legs on from the bench. Now it's Dalton Anderson. Long shot. That one hit Modica up high in the mask. Gives his head of a bit of a shake here to make sure that goal mask is still on and attached. 14.35 to go. Newco Motors third period. River Dragons and Thunderbirds tied up at two. We'll be back with more Thunderbirds hockey. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Welcome back to the Columbus Civic Center. As the third period continues here, 14.35 left in it. Thunderbirds out shooting the River Dragons 23-18. An offensive zone draw here for the River Dragons who have been mounting offensive pressure in this one. Out to the near side. This one collected and moved out by Tommy Cardinal. Gus Ford able to settle things down now. Breaking into the zone. Nice move by Ford to the goal. Can't tuck it to the backhand. What a move there by Ford. As now back out come the River Dragons with speed. Shouldered there. Jagger Williamson. Taken to the boards was Blake Peavy. Nicoletti with him there. Finally worked free. And now a point shot. Hit Modica up high. Yuri Pestuka gathers, sends this one on the backhand up for Daniel Martin. Into the zone, Martin puts his skates together, tries to open up a shooting lane, can't do it, puck copped up in the slot. Martin almost received that pass from Gus Ford. Now Martin out of the right wing corner, tried to send it underneath for Batita, instead Zach Sargis now. Takes over for the River Dragons. Plays it back out to center. Clouston redirected back in by Batita. Now Cardinal throws a man into the boards, it's Sargis. And now three River Dragons back below the goal line. They'll go to work to try and work this puck back out. Another turnover though. Cardinal in front, Petita has a chance, saved by McBurney. Right in front, a follow-up chance stopped as well. Two great opportunities for John Batita in front. McBurney comes out, challenges, cuts down the angle. Puts Batita in a difficult position to get a shot away there. Thunderbirds alternate captain does get two shots off, but two big saves there by McBurney. Keeps us at 2-2. 
13 14 to go. Clouston off the draw. Fires that one from a sharp angle off the outside of the goal. It's back up top. Chris Corgan able to chip this one around. Maldonado. Around the horn near side. Chris Corgan. Chopping it on his backhand. And now it's taken here by Clouston. Long shot, two feet wide. Out of the far corner. Thunderbirds have it. Holt, long shot, save, rebound. Swatted at there by Batita. He couldn't put it home. Cardinal trying to pick a pocket and keep it in, and he does. Here comes Cardinal, high slot, working out now, right wing. Cardinal driving wide, wanted to find a man in front. It was Corgan, but it's knocked down and brought back out the other way with speed. Van Weinsberg down the left wing. Corgan goes down. Van Weinsberg's got a chance. Cross ice pass, nicely deflected away by Pestuka. And they'll rule that this puck goes off, and someone's getting punches in the crease. Jay Krupp's sitting on top of a man. Nick Modik is in his face. Play was back out up top at the blue line. Didn't see what brought this about. Hard to tell who the Thunderbird was that was the victim of those punches. Jay Krupp being taken out of the penalty box. 12.28 to go in the third. Viktor Grabenikov slowly back to his feet. Krupp's in sense and he's getting in the face of the referee right now. And the linesman as well. Tough to tell what Krupp's arguing right now. Only one penalty on the board and it belongs to him. So the Thunderbirds back to the power play here. It's their fifth opportunity of the night. With Jay Krupp taking yet another visit to the penalty box here. Looked like he got tied up with Viktor Grabenikov, and it didn't look like Grabenikov was one of the uh, Thunderbird players who had been typically having uh, problems or words with Jay Krupp. And after how heated it got last night between Krupp and Modica, it's actually interesting to see them have somewhat of a calm conversation as we'll have to redrop this puck again. Had a handful of those tonight. A couple of misfires on the faceoffs. Blake Peavy to go for it here against Austin Doe. Thunderbirds win that one. Gus Ford, no surprise, he's on the ice right now. Both Carolina goals. Hoops official booking a roughing call. Out of the corner. Thunderbirds on the wrap chance there. Clouston wanted to put that one home. And now a three on one short handed for the River Dragons. Petra Antonio with Doe and Schmidt. Long shot save made, rebound in front. And two big saves by Modica. He keeps it out. Brilliant opportunity in front for Justin Schmidt. Thunderbird netminer keeps the door closed. What a strange opportunity. Three on one short handed. Drop back, Von Clouston. Pushes this ahead, Peshtuka now Gus Ford, a two on one with Petita. Ford down the left wing, shot, save made, it was up in the air, oh, and McBurney flailing around, he's able to trap that puck in his glove. Full bore right now between the River Dragons and the Thunderbirds. Two great saves by Nick Modica down to our left. Bailey McBurney down to our right. Two more unique saves. That puck all the way up in the air. Is this one off the fingertips of Viktor Grabenikov? It was slapped back out. Solid clearing attempt by Tom Maldonado. So a minute, six seconds to go on this man advantage here for the Thunderbirds, their fifth opportunity of the night. John Batita sees that puck roll away and does that puck stay in? No. Nope. Rolls back out, Joe Cangelosi collects, give to Grabenikov, now Batita. Back through center, dropped off now. Grabenikov, striding away from Williamson. He takes his shoulder as he dumps that puck back in. McBurney lets it go. Dumped all the way back out. Pass Grabenikov, Modica will stop it. 10.57 to go, 30 seconds left on the power play. Thunderbirds looking to break it back out. New center, Blake Peavy. Now down the left wing from the faceoff circle. In front, Batita has a chance, saved by McBurney. Rebound loose in front, McBurney was down. Up top, Cangelosi, long wrister tipped just wide by Cardinal, and it's chopped all the way back out. River Dragons clear this one. Taken down by Modica. 
Time expires and Jay Krupp is released. Thunderbirds 0 for 5 on the power play. River Dragons still perfect. Oh, one short-handed this season. Joe Cangelosi tries to take that one to the goal. Swatted out there by Blake Peavy. Chipped and rolled underneath Nick Modica now. Clouston sets up shot behind him. Carolina leading 27 to 20 on the shot board. Just continuing to try and chip away as Martin flips this up out shooting Columbus 6-4 in the frame and McBurney able to fight that one off. Peavy giving a rough ride in front of the Thunderbirds bench. As now here's a chance right in front. Turning his Gus Ford. That shot blocked. Back up top. Pestuka corrals and sends that one wide. George Holt fires it in front. Loose puck swatted out by Martin. Comes all the way back out. Pestuka controls at center. Thunderbirds inching closer. Out off the far side boards. Back in the neutral zone. It's collected here by Brad Nolan. Nolan down the right side. Near side boards, curls up and lets it go. Back in front again. Sharp angle try from behind the goal. Takes a weird bounce off the left skate of Modica. Approaching nine minutes here, Newco Motors third period. Still tied at two. Gus Ford ailmails this one ahead. Oh, it's on the tape of Batita. Batita's got a step, a shot sent just wide. Batita's got his rebound though. Trying to wrap it around. He gets tangled up with a defenseman in behind the play. Corgan back up top, great pass by Gus Ford. It settled perfectly for Batita. Couldn't tuck it home. Peavy sends one in front, almost redirected by Corgan. McBurney's gotta make a pretty nice save there. Eight and a half to go. Long shot, chopped up into the glass by Modica. The near side, taken by Corgan. Drops behind for George Holt, wanted Grabenikov instead. Coughed up on the tape now, Petra Antonio. Armstrong underneath now, taken away by Corgan. Lofted back out to center. Another bouncing puck couldn't be settled down by Batita. Now it's Petrantonio with numbers. Doe in front alone. Oh, he waved at it. Couldn't get solid contact. Petrantonio, left wing corner, tied up with Grabenica. Petrantonio takes him to the boards. Tommy Cardinal now. Three men strong for the Thunderbirds. They step over the line. Cardinal in front. One in Nicoletti, goes under his stick. Back out, it's redirected off the glass by Petrantonio. He steps around Cangelosi. Petrantonio's got the puck back in the slot. A rising backhander just missed. Over the glove of Modica. Petrantonio still with it. Jam play shut down. Batita off the boards. Turning there with it. David Nicoletti. Two River Dragons on him. Inside seven and a half to go. Nicoletti chips it out to the far side. No one's home. Long shot off the legs of Daniel Martin. River Dragons hold it, center point shot, turned out by Modica. Clouston, chipped up off the glass. Martin, can't corral that puck, kept in nicely. Van Weinsberg to the corner, MJ Graham, top line on now for the River Dragons. Van Weinsberg, and now Daniel Martin for the Thunderbirds. Just able to chip this one back out to neutral territory. Kicked off a skate, here comes Jay Krupp down the right side. Tries to make a nice move on Clouston. Nothing doing there, Pestuka has to take over. Off the boards, fighting for it. Knifing it back in, Pestuka takes over, crosses center red. He'll take it over the line himself. Yuri Pestuka cuts into the slot, still has it, gets a shot off high over the bar. Gus Ford on it now. Moving up top, Martin winds, Friars that one, saved by McBurney, the rebound to the corner again. Martin, underneath, wanted Ford. Inside, six and a half to go. Tipped underneath, the River Dragons have this one. Settled down nicely there, George Holt keeps the play alive. Thunderbirds are back out to center in the midst of a line change though. Zach Sargis underneath. Around the horn, Paul Frigeau. Chip back in. River Dragons have some speed, they cut over the line. Down the right side, Anderson. Fortunate bounce in front, Anderson saved by Modica. Oh, and he gets steamrolled. Modica with a great save, Anderson. Scorches in on goal. All 6'2", 210 pounds of him. And Modica is going to go for a skate here. 2-2 two, two the score. We'll take a brief time out. We'll see what comes of that collision when we come back with more Thunderbirds hockey.
Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. back inside the Columbus Civic Center. As we get ready to go here, third period, no penalties, nothing called after that uh, collision with Nick Modica. Good chance by Dalton Anderson headed towards the goal. Tommy Cardinal on the defensive zone faceoff here. He immediately gets waved out. Daniel Martin instead comes in. Grabenikov. Back now, Pestuka. Long clearing attempt. Serves its purpose. It looked like that puck was intended instead for Daniel Martin. And as the Thunderbirds go all the way back down, Modica no worse for wear. That's the second time he's taken a heavy collision like that in the last two weeks. I believe it was Colin Chimelka. Came with a full head of steam when Watertown came to visit the Thunderbirds. Held in nicely. Perhaps not. Took a second as Daniel Martin not a fan of that play. Brad Nolan took the long shot from the point. That was a close call as to whether that puck stayed in or not. Martin not a fan of the fact that Nolan shot the puck a little late as he felt. Off the neutral zone faceoff. Thunderbirds have to backtrack here. 5.37 to go. Nuco Motors third period. River Dragons with an extended stay in the Thunderbirds end. Rabenikov far side, chip back out. Pistuka backhands this one back out to center. Near side. Nolan's got it through center. Coughed up, here's a chance. Out of the left wing corner. Dalton Anderson turns it over. Now Blake Peavy just able to advance things for Martin. Martin out of some skates as we hit the five minute mark. Thunderbirds still leading on the shot board as this puck pinballs around through center. Yuri Pestuka on it there. Out shooting the River Dragons nine to six in this frame. Columbus watching this one come now. Viktor Grabenikov on the one handed attack. Thunderbirds just able to get this one back out to center. In the midst of a line change. Here's a chance. Petra Antonio, the shot diving, blocked by Clauston. Thunderbirds caught again in the midst of a change. Petra Antonio still with it in the slot. That one off the hand of Cangelosi. Batita finds Ford. Cangelosi gets tied up with Petra Antonio. As Austin Doe brings it in. Stood into there by Clauston. 4.16 to go. Tie game here in the third period. Dragons down the right side again. Watch there by Batita. It's Armstrong. Underneath Austin Doe. Stepped into by George Holt. Clauston has it. Collects. And just kind of drips this one back out towards center. As we're inside four minutes. Heavy collision there. George Holt drops a man and Gus Ford is in. Ford lowers the shoulder. River Dragons defenseman lost the stick. Here comes Ford in front. Open net chance. As hobbling back down to the bench, the injured River Dragons player. Carolina still with it. Tommy Cardinal and now John Batita. Back out up top. Thunderbird Dina line change. Long shot deflected there by Cardinal on its way. He's taking the boards and Gus Ford a chance in front. Batita stopped not once but twice. Two big saves. Bailey McBurney keeps us even. 321, third period. We'll take another quick break, and when we come back, we'll wrap this regulation period up anyway. 321, Thunderbirds and River Dragons tied at two. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around 
on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference. Family owned since 1933. Family owned and operated since 1938. Must Welcome back to the Columbus Civic Center. 321 to go. Coming down to the wire here from Columbus. Work back up top, Pestuka from inside the blue line. Martin slings it around. Grabenikov on it there with Blake Peavy. Around it comes John Batita. Up top, counterattacking now. MJ Graham. Underneath, Modica drops it off for Grabenikov. All the way around from the blue line. River Dragons all keeping it in right in front. A chance, Krupe scores! Oh my word, Jay Krupe right in front. 2.50 to go, River Dragons take the lead. Fortunate play, that puck looked to be going back the other way. Jay Krupp, right place, right time. He kind of camped out in front of Modica's goal as if he had a sense that something was gonna go wrong on the zone exit. Something did indeed go wrong on the zone exit. And now it's a 3-2 River Dragons lead. Thunderbirds now take their timeout. So Carolina once again looking down the barrel of a one goal hockey game. Not a lot of time left in this one. Likely to see Gus Ford out here for Carolina. Yuri Pestuka as well. Blake Peavy's been strong on some faceoffs for the Thunderbirds in this one. Ford, the only two Thunderbird goals so far tonight. Jay Krupp, strong finish right in front. Modica was pinned back in in his blue paint on that goal. He, along with everyone else in the building, expected that puck to go back the other way. Thunderbirds now in danger of dropping four in a row. Still a good amount of time though, 2.45 to go. Thunderbirds look to mount an attack. Pestuka drops it off. Picked up there, Pestuka, can't open her. Has his stick lifted there, and now it's Tommy Cardinal down the right side. Cardinal, long shot, easy save there by McBurney. He'll hold for a face-off, 2.27 to go. Carolina still out shooting. River Dragons, 32-23. Bit unexpected. Again, as the River Dragons dominating play for bits of time here in the third, especially puck possession-wise. McBurney stood tall, 30 saves so far tonight. Puck poked at there by Daniel Martin. Around the far side, Levi Armstrong. Cross-ice pass, this one brought in. Taken by Clouston, knocked down. Armstrong, good hand-eye coordination there. In front, Doe, shot stopped by Modica, saving the game right there. Modica got the glove up on Doe. And he got a stick up high, play continues. Doe hobbled behind the play. Here comes Peavy and Martin. Cross ice feed, Gus Ford collects off the boards. 1.54 to go, Modica still in his goal. Centering feed, the shot, they score! Off of Blake Peavy in front, the Thunderbirds tie the game at three.
Carolina down but not out. Time and space, right place, right time. Blake Peavy, recipient of a fortunate bounce. It looks like it deflects off of his skate past the goaltender. We're all tied up again. No need to pull the goaltender just yet. Good patience. Thunderbirds are rewarded. As we're all even again, Modica drops. Coming out and stopping. Oh, as he's gotten into the face now of MJ Graham. Those two have been going at it all weekend. Gotta be careful not to take a penalty here. Modica going after Graham, swinging at him with the left hand. Graham's gotten the best of Modica right now. As after the play, Jay Krupp just put the puck in the Thunderbird goal. Krupp, who tied the game. Krupp wants to go with Modica right now. He's shaking his gloves. Cangelosi pushes back Modica. Cangelosi trying to calm down Jay Krupp as well. Interesting little play there. Wasn't sure if anyone was going to catch that. Jay Krupp, who gave the Thunder, uh, the River Dragons the lead 3-2 earlier on. We'll stay at five on five, even after all that. Minute 39 to go. Third period, recently tied up thanks to Blake Peavy. Again, we've talked about Peavy as a guy that's just working all the time. Always, always, always the last player off the ice in practice. Working on some extra stick skills or skating or something. As Cangelosi gets taken down, he pops back up in the River Dragon zone. Racing after it now, Blake Peavy. From the goal line, flipped all the way around. Pastuka can't hold it in. Here comes MJ Graham. Final minute 14 down the left side. And play whistle down off sides. Grabenikov getting tangled up with Krupp. Keep an eye on those two. Minute 12 to go in the third period. Group with words for the Thunderbirds bench as he goes by. Everything comes out in the wash. 3 3. We're just going to wait to see which way the wash goes at this point. Face off one forward by Petrantonio. Austin Doe. Petrantonio, top of the circles. Long shot, no one ever saw it as it went through. Doyle. Back now, chipped out by Daniel Martin. Final minute. Nico Motors, third period. Modica lost that puck as he came out to play behind the goal. Clouston just able to shovel this one back out towards center. Poked away by Daniel Martin, though. After it, River Dragons chip this one around near side. Breaking back through Petrantonio, has that puck slip off his stick. Goes to work against Von Clauston. Clauston in front, wanted Doe. Clauston chips it near side, Gus Ford. Final 30 seconds. Up that out, Yuri Peshtuka patiently. Spin around, pass there, couldn't be handled by Clauston. Now he gets it all the way back in. Final 15 seconds and the chances of one team collecting all three points. It's smaller and smaller. Viktor Grabenikov tries to charge in. Waving at it with one hand. Nicely poked away from him. A diving play by Noah Doyle. Cross ice pass. Glove down Yuri Peshtuka. As time expires, 3-3. Regulation not enough. And so for the first time this season, the Carolina Thunderbirds will go to overtime against their closest rival. One quick break and when we come back, five minutes to try and decide a winner. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. 
take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. Conveniently located at the corner of Rinalda Road and Northwest Boulevard, Salem Smiles and Dr. Sarah C. Schoff is the preferred orthodontist of the Carolina Thunderbirds. Back at the Dr. Columbus Schoff Civic Center. Winston Salem native. As we get ready for overtime here. Some bonus so hockey. On the ice or in the stands. Trust your team to Dr. Smashmouth and her team. And the Columbus at River Salem Dragons. Smiles. All tied up at three. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier we to stay up to date on your favorite to team. Get things going so here. we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds there we go. app. 3-3 three, three, headed into overtime here. Five minutes, it's we'll skate at three on three. The content, Speedsters rosters, out there for Carolina. Blake Peavy, Gus Ford, Yuri Pestuka. Team schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your team. Williamson, MJ Graham. Head over to the App Store and download Paul Frejot. The three for the River Sometimes. Dragons. We all need a bit of help. So now That's with the FPHL's point Golf system. Comes in. With four instructors game ready points. to get your game to the next level, three we're open to the public. Practice two for an overtime driving win. range and gear and up at our pro shop. Overtime or shootout we're a loss. proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call. So right now it's a matter of getting as much as you can. Three. All three points are off and the table, but now it's just about getting one more than the opponent. Thunderbirds control off the draw. Fish Brewing Company is the Kermit official Hot Dog overtime the underway here. They've got a special From the Columbus surprise. Civic Center. How fitting we wrap the up the weekend with an overtime in thriller. In with Fiddle and Fish, announced their vanilla Peshtuka. coffee board. As the now game completely changes edition, here at three on three, Yuri Peshtuka lowers the shoulder, goals to the net. Find these at your local off the outside, store, past the blocker or there. On site, of Bernie. Fiddle and Fish Brewing Peshtuka Company up high. on trade. Has that puck roll up on it? Come grab a beer Underneath and visit TV us. wanted Peshtuka. Works things back out for Gus Ford. Maple Chase Golf and Peshtuka Country heads Club the bench offers the best in favor in recreational of amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Ford will still by control our pool for and rolling puck over Gear there for the pro shop. Like and sharpen stays your on. skills on our 9,000 square foot over the line. Putting green. And play nice around. 50 seconds gone here in overtime. Ellis Maples Design Championship Up top golf Ford. course. Finds Klaus Find out back more. for Ford. Chase two goals already tonight. Com. Ford battling for it there with Williamson. Dagger Williamson comes away with it for the River Dragons. A lot has More changed since 1933, on but one thing that hasn't is modern automotive's commitment to, to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Dino no for 85 years nice move. Cuts for the goal. Stop by Modica again. And an everlasting Got the glove on top of the pad. He stops go, and now it's a foot race back that way for Danny Martin. It has been taken away from him by Josh Petrantonio. Here comes Petrantonio, two on one back the other way. Petrantonio waits in front. Shot. They never even gotten to the goal. Now it leaks back Family the owned high and slot. operated since 1938, Mustin and Crutchfield Food Market in Kernersville is the place to find your steam. favorite homemade food. The Sample line. the finest cuts of meat from our but on-site butcher. Enjoy a glass bottle of soda so like the old days and go home with a tub of our famous homemade pimento cheese. Come see us at 245 North Main Street in downtown Kernersville. Modica, keeping his team in it. No better example than that save right there. At the corner of Rinalda Road and Northwest Boulevard, Salem Smiles and Dr. Sarah the Tita against Bersani. The preferred the Dragons, Dragons win that draw. The Carolina Thunderbirds. In the offensive end, Dr. Schoff is a Winston Salem native. Of the board spinning off him. Name in now working back down low. Martin. So whether and you're Dalton on the Anderson ice getting tangled up. Now stand. Anderson's got it near Trust side. Waits that one to off the legs of Butita. And her team had Bersani waiting back door. Couldn't get the puck through to him though. 2.56 to go. Overtime here from Columbus. Custom wine Bersani over the line, home away today. from Martin. Hits the trailer, high the slot, shot right into the glove. Carolina Nick Modica stops Tom Maldonado. First run and will hang on for a face-off. Bottles are $40 individually and $75 when bought as a set. Call the Thunderbirds office to get yours today. Chances Three, continue to mount. Seven, Fresh seven, legs come four, on now for Carolina. Four, six, two, it's that original unit after the success of the Pestuka and Ford as the Carolina he wants to know where to try and win this face off. Are back with another he called it. Classic. Pointed right behind him. Thunderbirds. They want it there. Pestuka with it now. 
Smooth and easy Sends drinking. Blake Peavy behind it's him and drops it off. For cheering on Sends this one back up for Pastuka. Now he's got Don't a chance. Here he Pastuka winds and fires and a big save by McBurney. Kicking out that right pad. The game. Keeping this game going store. inside two and a half. Left here in overtime. Gus Ford. From the blue line, stumbles. Atrium Health Wake Forest. Ford from the top of the circle. Heading towards the goal. Gus Ford cuts in. That's chance. Shut down by the defenseman. Now the River Dragons work it back out. Levi Armstrong down the left side. Settles the puck down. Drops it back. Williamson taken out of the play. None of the Thunderbirds can get to it. A turning shot there saved by Modica. Now a chance in front. Everybody loose in front. Lots of room. Oh, and Modica with a glove save. Paul Frazeau looked like he had that one buried. Modica keeps Carolina in it. Back out it comes. Gus Ford has that puck roll off his stick. From the blue line, Ford down the right side. Cutting towards the slot on his backhand. A shot saved by McBurney. The rebound poked away. End to end we go. Minute 38 to go in overtime. Now a three on one for the River Dragons. Down the left side, sprawling out was Vaughn Clouston. Out to the near side corner. Nolan. Finish strong. Nolan, Start here. Now dropping it off. Atrium Mente Health, Wake Forest Baptist. Minute 22 to go. Graham back up top. Nolan. And he gets tangled up with the official there. That might be a chance for Ford. Clouston instead picks things up and goes back the other way. Blake Peavy. River Dragons wanted to get a line change there. Now they can't do it. Peavy cruts across the ice. Clouston clears it the length of the goal. Modica in the last minute of overtime pushes this one up the boards. Clouston's got it. Fresh from the bench is Daniel Martin. Tommy Cardinal as well. He strides over the line. Cardinal driving wide. Looks to go around the goal. Two River Dragons on him. He wanted to clear that back up for Pestuka. Goes all the way back out. Modica's got a chance here. What does he do with it? Pushes it past Petrantonio. 33 seconds. Martin left the puck behind. Martin tries to take it away there, Austin Doe. Daniel Martin tangles up there with Petrantonio on the far side boards. Final 20 seconds of overtime. Petrantonio can't corral it. Maldonado in the right wing faceoff circle. 12 seconds in overtime. Doe, long shot, stopped by Modica. He hangs on, no rebound. 9.7. 3-3 Thunderbirds and the River Dragons here in overtime. Josh Petrantonio receiving some taps on the back as he heads back to the River Dragons bench. Williamson, one last oper offensive opportunity. Long shot, stopped by Modica, six seconds. Thunderbirds try to clear it. Batita can't get it up to Ford. Skipping puck. Rolls in on McDur McBurney and time expires. Overtime not enough. We'll head to a shootout. And we will keep you right here for this one. So overtime not enough. We'll go for it here in the shootout. 3-3 three, three the score. Shots in that overtime, six to two, River Dragons. Nick Modica holding the door shut. As we'll look to see who goes first. The River Dragons are the home team. They'll get to decide if they shoot first or second. Fitting that this game was not suited to end in regulation. Overtime not enough. Krupp with some late game theatrics. Looked to put the River Dragons on top and put this one to bed, but Blake Peavy with a minute 50 to go in that third period had other ideas. End to end overtime, Modica, the hero of the extra frame. And as McBurney skates back down to the goal to our right, it would appear Vaughn Clouston skates out to shoot first for Carolina. Modica's one of his first two FPHL games 
Went through a shootout against the Watertown Wolves. Made 35 saves on 36 shots. And a 2-1 shootout loss to Watertown. Vaughn Clouston starts things off here against Bailey McBurney. And Clouston feeding off the booze here. Clouston, the left-handed shot against McBurney. Waits out wide, McBurney way out on this one. Clouston, a shot right into the glove, and McBurney gives him a little how do you do. Clouston took his time. McBurney came way out the challenge. And we'll look to see Nick Modica likely to do the same here as Doe. Looks to start things off for the Columbus side of this shootout. Doe has that puck roll up on him. Driving wide to the goal, he send that one wide. Puck would never lay flat for him. Austin Doe lost it not once, but twice. Nick Modica never even had to make the save. And so that brings up Blake Peavy. Scored the game tying goal. His third in a Thunderbirds uniform. And Blake Peavy's got an opportunity to put his team out ahead. He loses the puck for a second as well. Peavy gets McBurney, he sends a backhander wide. Jagger Williamson. Been all over the ice tonight. Williamson. Doesn't need any kind of a run up. He stands next to that puck and again swings out to the right side. Now cutting back towards center. Williamson a shot turned aside by Modica. Four shooters. Not enough in this one. No one's been able to score yet. And so Gus Ford, the other Thunderbirds goal scorer. Looking for a third that would not count as a hat trick, but would certainly do lots on the score sheet. Ford against McBurney, sends it wide. And so that brings up MJ Graham. Graham looks to have lots of room to wind this one up. Expect him to come with speed. Graham. Here he comes, shot out of a cannon against Modica. Fakes to the backhand, hit the goal post and stays out. Oh, I don't believe it. Nick Modica sprawled out on the ice. MJ Graham rings it off the pipe. And we keep going here. Still, no one has buried it in the shootout. Yuri Pestuka, shooter number four for the Thunderbirds. We keep going. Pestuka against McBurney. Slowly in. Put a forehand. Oh, he tried to tuck it five hole. McBurney shuts him down. Ball for Joe. Shooter number four for the River Dragons. Chance to put his team in front. Frajot in against Modica, head fake, saved by Modica. Carolina has a chance to put the pressure back on. Chris Corgan, four shooters aside, no one has scored yet. Corgan can put the River Dragons back on their heels. Corgan, a late game decision here as to whether or not he was even gonna play, McBurney Stretching out a little bit more, and now it's Chris Corgan. Against McBurney, to the hash marks, lost the puck. Corgan tried to get a little too fancy, lost the puck at the last second. And now Jay Krupp has a chance to win it for the River Dragons. Building comes to a roar. Krupp against Modica. Slowly in, puck bounces on him. Krupp, lots of fakes, lost the puck, never even got a shot off. 
Top of the sixth here from the Columbus Civic Center. Now that we've gone through five, both teams can go back and uh, throw out anyone they want. Gus Ford gets the call from Garrett Rutledge. Ford with lots of room to line this one up. His first chance went high past the glove side of McBurney. Let's see what he does on his second. Scores! Gus Ford squeaks at five hole. Thunderbirds have the lead in the shootout. The first goal in this shootout belongs to Gus Ford. And now Josh Petrantonio has to score to keep things alive. What a roller coaster of a game. Thunderbirds look to be out of it late in the third. On their heels in overtime. But now it's Petrantonio who has to score to keep things going. Against Modica. Scores! Oh, what a shot. We're not done yet. Absolute laser beam up over the glove of Modica. And how can you not love free hockey? Six shooters, not enough for either side. John Batita, all locked up again. McBurney, taking his time, stretching out before every one of these shots. Here comes John Batita. Moving in against McBurney, shot high and wide. Bottom of the seventh. They'll send Petrantonio again. And this time, instead of having to score to keep it alive, if he scores, the River Dragons win it. Went high to the glove hand side last time. Petrantonio, same angle, same shot, sent wide. Modica may have gotten a piece of it. He checks his glove, I believe he did. Nick Modica stopping the River Dragon captain. To the eighth frame here. Gus Ford again. Thunderbirds lone goal scorer in the shootout. Puck barely squeaked through McBurney. Ford again. One for two in the shootout. This is his third opportunity. Backhander tried to tuck it between the wickets and he's denied. So do they go with Petrantonio again? No. Dalton Anderson gets the call. Anderson, a left-handed shot now. Weaving in on Modica. Fakes, backhander sent wide. Can you believe this? Ninth shooter, Joe Cangelosi, out there for the Thunderbirds now. the fresher faces we've seen here for the Thunderbirds. And again, McBurney having a conversation with the official, just trying to buy himself some time. Gamesmanship here from the River Dragons netminder. An extra conversation with the linesman. And now Cangelosi, Thunderbirds captain. McBurney way out to challenge him. Shot saved by McBurney. Never even had to go down. Bottom of the ninth again. Cangelosi almost had it five hole. Austin Doe comes to look and try to wrap things up. Austin Doe from center ran against Nick Modica. Swings out wide, cuts in, shot stopped by Modica again. Patience from the Thunderbird netminder. This is magnificent by both goaltenders. Tenth frame now. Daniel Martin, surprised it took him this long to get some action in the shootout. Martin swings, only oh, fanned on it. Martin recovered, but for a moment. As now again, 
the third consecutive shooter. Fourth consecutive shooter. Levi Armstrong has a chance to wrap things up for the River Dragons. Armstrong cuts in, head fakes once, twice. Oh, a diving save by Modica. Unbelievable, he gets the paddle out. He looked beaten clean. I'm out of paper up here. The 11th frame. Gus Ford again. Tried to go five hole last time, see if he mixes it up this time. Ford, McBurney out high to challenge. Ford stopped by the left pad of McBurney. Bottom of the 11th. Just gets stranger and stranger. MJ Graham now. He's up on this one again. Likes to come with lots of speed and he does so again. Slows up, starts again, stops again. MJ Graham, he scores! MJ Graham wins it for the River Dragons in the shootout. Modica and the Thunderbirds, furious. They want to say that Graham stopped and brought that puck to a complete halt. So after 11 rounds in the shootout, conversation from the officials here. Well, hang on a second. Referees giving the hand to the Thunderbirds bench. They're still having a conversation over in front of the penalty box. No goal, they just waved it off. I don't believe it. They just waved that off. We're not done yet. Somebody go get Nick Modica. This shootout is not done yet. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Graham is furious. The Thunderbirds, uh, this is unbelievable. They'll say that MJ Graham brought that puck to a complete halt. So a goal that was on the board, won the River Dragons the shootout, has just come off. Modica was furious that that goal was allowed. And now someone's got to go back to the locker room and grab him if he hasn't shattered his stick into 100 pieces. What a show. What a Saturday night. And so now after all of this, someone else has got to come and shoot another puck. McBurney's gone off the ice. Someone's got to go get the River Dragons goaltender now. Well, if only somebody had video replay. There, Nick Modica has just come back out onto the ice. Probably had half his equipment off. Viktor Grabenikov is staring at a vacant cage down to our right. And this game, I believe, will be talked about for many years to come. A goal in the shootout waved off after a conversation by the officials in front of the scorer's table. And finally, Bailey McBurney comes back out. He'll have to wait a little bit longer. Thought he had his first FPHL win locked up. McBurney's back out on the ice. And the officials not exactly the most popular people in the building tonight. So the Thunderbirds on life support here in the shootout. Shooter number 12, Viktor Grabenikov. And Carolina playing with house money at this point. Grabenikov, shot, scores! Viktor Grabenikov up over the blocker of McBurney. And things turn again. Viktor Grabenikov. Puts Carolina in front. And now Hunter Bersani's got a score to keep things going. Bersani against Modica. Shot saved by Modica. The Thunderbirds win in a shootout. Never seen a game like that. Bottles come out of the stands. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, the Thunderbirds on life support. Viktor Grabenikov finishes it in the shootout. Nick Modica, who was back in the locker room, taking his equipment off, comes back out and makes the game-winning save. Carolina gets the extra point. And we gotta be careful here. Thunderbirds looking to hustle off the ice. Some of the bottles and things uh, coming down onto the ice are starting to fall short and hit some spectators. So, oh yes, those of you watching and listening at home, you can say that you witnessed FPHL history in a game that will be talked about for years and years to come. Final score, Carolina four, Columbus three in the shootout. They get the two points. Columbus will settle for one. We'll take a break and try to make some sense of all of this. Final score, Carolina four, River Dragons three. We'll send you to a break and we'll put a bow on this one when we come back. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. One last time from the Columbus Civic Center. Their final score after 60 minutes in overtime frame. 24 shooters in the shootout. The Carolina Thunderbirds four and the Columbus River Dragons three. And all we can say is wow. Blake Peavy tying things up late for the Thunderbirds after Krupp had all but put things away late in the third. End to end in overtime. River Dragons outshot Carolina six to two. And as if it didn't look buttoned up at the end of the third, or late in the third, or in overtime, it certainly looked buttoned up when MJ Graham came down as the 11th shooter for the River Dragons. A couple of stops and starts would slow up and eventually put the puck past Nick Modica. Everyone in the building thought the game was over. River Dragons had it there. And after a conversation with the official, the River Dragons were uh, celebrating at center ice. And after a conversation with uh, the other officials, it was ruled that Graham had come to a complete stop before he put the puck behind Modica. No goal, it comes off the boards, had to get everybody back out onto the ice. And then Viktor Grabenikov strides in and throws one over the blocker of McBurney. Modica would then stop the final shot as it came in on him, making the game winning save and Carolina waltzes out of here with two points after uh, a, an interesting weekend to say the least. That just about wraps things up for us here from Columbus. We'll be right back here next weekend as a home and home between Carolina and Columbus starts next Friday. You'll wanna have that date circled and shifts back to Winston-Salem on Saturday night. But that's just about it for us here on Thunderbirds TV and the Thunderbirds radio network. Uh, quick note, the River Dragons were kind enough to loan us uh, Chris McGuire running our cameras for us tonight. So. Thanks to Chris and all the River Dragons for their help on our broadcast tonight. For all of us here at Thunderbirds TV and the Thunderbirds Radio Network, my name is Dylan Clark. Good night, Carolina. We'll see you next time.